Round and round. 
out so easy How are you all doing? It's good to see you. We're sort of on schedule. This is, it's, it's sort of the time that <laughs> we said we were going to start. We were, yeah, we were, it's within the hour. It counts. The, for me, the 9 is still there and we said 9 p.m. on the schedule. So baby, we are on time. <laughs> I am trying to uh, to get on a schedule. You, we, you know, we'll see how it goes. We all, I think at this point, I'm not fooling anybody. Uh, we, I think anybody who's been around here for a while, they know. They know. They know how I am. <laughs> okay, but law of equivalent exchange. Tico needs to do the ASMR stream. <laughs> <laughs> so I am so sorry if anybody came here expecting League tonight. I'm so sorry because that is uh, not what's happening. I was gonna say unfortunately, but that might also be a fortunate thing too, <laughs> for my own sake. Um, no, but there will be. I will be playing some League soon. But so me and uh, Tycho have have been talking. Uh, my buddy Tycho. I'm sure uh, most of you know. If you do not. I don't remember what my shout out command is or if it's broken. I don't know. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to at, at Taco B in the chat. <laughs> That's the person. That's, I think I, did I, did it send? Um, did I, did I use the internet right? It didn't send. Here. That's just, you know, hey. Tycho, Tycho B. That's all you need to know. We don't even need the app because for some reason Twitch doesn't want to send it. But just that's 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 the person to follow. Just this we got who we got to follow. We got Tycho B. We got Lilin Lilin V Damon. Demon. I I actually it it's Demon, right? <laughs> I'm having a I'm having a space moment. I don't remember. Uh either way, it doesn't matter how you pronounce it. Just a, a lovely friend. Uh, speaking of lovely friends, why don't we go back and see? Uh, Cause I saw, I saw y'all were doing some stuff in, <laughs> while I was getting ready. Uh, 
let's see. We, let's let's say hi to everybody. Let's make sure we thank everybody. However you want to pronounce it at this point. <laughs> There's truly so many streamers I know who's like, that is their experience. They're like, yeah, it was supposed to be one thing, but now it's just sort of however they pronounce it when I raid into a channel. That's just what it is in that moment. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. I think there was... I don't know if there's ever... I think there's maybe, like... Sometimes if somebody's, like, misread my name or something, they'll say it wrong, but I I, I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've ever gotten a, a real strange pronunciation, but, you know, one day we could hope. <laughs> but, Lillian, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you very much. Potato, congrats on the first... Archon, thank you for the resub at 30 months. Jesus, we're almost at that three-year mark. That's crazy. Uh, Amy, thank you for the gift sub to Ninja. Thank you for the gift sub to Silence. Much appreciated. I hope you guys enjoy your new Salem emotes. Uh, Nix, thank you for the 10 community gift subs. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I hope everybody who, who got some of those uh, enjoys their Salem emotes as well. Thank you very much. Uh, Lillian, thank you for the bits. Medic, thank you for the bits. N and Nick, thank you for the bits. Much appreciated. Thank you all. You don't have to do that. It's nice just coming and hanging out, but I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, and then in chat, who we got? We're just warming up right now. We got, we got, I got a game. I got a couple games maybe planned tonight. Maybe, maybe more. I had some games I wanted to try, and then I'm still on my Bellatro brain rot. <laughs> So we're just hanging out. We're just having a, a nice, uh, cozy, fun night. So we're just playing some games. So they're most, they're all like indie games, pretty much. I think, I think one of them is early access, or it's like a demo or something. And then another is also early access. I think they're both early access. I could be wrong. Uh, I haven't played either of them at all before, but they both look uh, one. I've watched some people play and it looks looks very fun. It's sort of one of those like vampire survivor type um, games. The other is like a bullet bullet hell kind of game, I think. Uh, it also might be like a vampire survivors like that genre has so many names at this point. I don't even know what to call them. <laughs> Stretch Archon, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Ay, 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 ay. But let's see. I didn't did, did say hello to everybody, so let's let's do that real quick. Posture check. Thank you, Amy. Much appreciated. We'll uncrunch the shrimp. Uh, potato archon. Hello, hello, Amy. Hello, Nix. Of course, hello, Ace. Hello. Uh, fish. Hello. Uh, do 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 do. Peanut. Hello. I'm glad you guys enjoy the dances, the, the schmoove in Salem. That's still one of my, <laughs> I love that little, just that little guy in the corner of my, in the corner of my intro is very fun. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, oh no, Arcon, I just saw you comment about what if there were two dancing Salems. I didn't see it in time, so sorry. Maybe, maybe a surprise for the future. We'll tuck that one away. Uh, Ninja, hello. I can't remember who I said hello to at this point. <laughs> Uh, Glenn Lico, if you're still here, th hello, medic. Good to have you here with us for the night. <laughs> uh, Nyarlathotep, hello, hello. I'm glad you were able to catch a stream. Good to have you, Rockin' Robin. Hello, hello. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy no Lee, Legan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, I think I started say saying something about Tycho and I didn't finish my thought. But yeah, so Tycho and I are going to be playing um, uh, League of Legends at some point together, I think is the plan. Uh, I'm going to do the demo on my own or like not the, the, the little like introduction or whatever. But other than that, I'm kind of purposefully trying not to learn anything. <laughs> I'm just going to go in blind and we're going to see how I do. Uh, and that's kind of the... It's that's the bit, you know, that's the you know, that's the only reason that I downloaded the league is for the bit. <laughs> uh, I've never actually played a MOBA before, so I, I don't know. I don't know the strategies. I don't know the terms. I don't know anything. <laughs> All I know is truly the extent of my knowledge is uh, about league is 
Set is a good boy. Set and Aphelios are a good boys together. I know Ezreal has green hair now and he used to be the blonde twink that everybody simped for. Now he's the green haired twink that everybody simps for. I think that's what I know about League. <laughs> I think that's the extent. <laughs> uh, 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 Nyx, I'm glad you, I hope you enjoy Bellatro. It's very much like, I think I have like 40 hours in it now. It's very much like just a, a brain rot of like, Let's sit there, not let's be sitting there, not doing anything. Then I'm like, hey, you know, you know what I could go for? I could go for a nice round of Bellatro. <laughs> uh, how to spend 5.7 thousand points. Oh, uh, I need to have more redeems for you guys to spend points on. I know because all I really I think standard like standard. All I really have uh, is like posture check and stretch. That's it. <laughs> you unlock an emotes and. Yeah, I don't have a lot of, like, because all of my redeems that I think I've set up are, like, for my tarot streams or my ASMR streams or anything. I don't have anything just in general. Because, like, I think the, the model changing uh, um, redeems are fun. Like, the ones that turn me into, like, a Tums bottle or switch me into, like, chibi form and stuff. But the problem is, is sometimes it changes where I am on screen. And also the colors of, like, certain, like, variants and items and like other models of mine don't work well with like all the screen effects and stuff that I have with um with Schust to get everything all pretty and glowy like this um so it's uh <laughs> it's kind of a, uh it, it's a little bit of a, a pain sometimes I have to go in and just like manually adjust every time so I gotta figure out I gotta figure out some other fun stuff though we'll get something going hmm <laughs> Add a reward to make some strange, unusual Salem noises. <laughs> I don't even know if I can make them, like, on command. They kind of just come out. It's, I just open my mouth and whatever... Whatever whatever noise uh, is introduced to the world, uh, is that's what, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Maybe the idea of, like, doing, like, a redeem that adds, like, a... Uh, a schmooflum <laughs> could be fun. <laughs> All I know about playing League is people saying how hot the characters are. Yeah, that's about yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Just pick cute characters and you win. I think. Yeah, that sounds that sounds right to me. That's like a oh my gosh, somebody showed me like the deer girl the other day. Uh, while well, I was on stream, somebody mentioned her and she was so pretty. And then I was I was talking to Tycho and I was like, yeah, I know who I'm going to play for sure. And then I remembered Set is also from League of Legends. And I was like, maybe I'm playing two characters. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I made that one comment last year. You're actually committing to the bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it was such a fun idea. <laughs> As a league player, it's fun when you're not getting jumped by three players. I too, yeah, I, I, I've seen people get like ganged up on in like videos and stuff, but like, I don't know what's happening to be honest. Like people are like, yeah, like a Rams down the lane. Uh, don't hit the bumper. Uh, strike out all the pins and you get a, 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 a royal flush. I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Every time I hear people talking about league strats, I feel like I'm having a stroke. <laughs> a vinegar shot for every game lost. The problem is that's not a punishment for me. <laughs> that's a it's it's like a reward. <laughs> League players be like, go min. I'd be like, thank you for believing in me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, truly, even even mid would be an accomplishment uh, for me playing League, I think. If I, if I can scrape my way up to mid playing, I'm good with that. <laughs> Mobiles are possibly the least entry-level friendly genre. I, yeah, I could see that. There's a lot of terminology, and especially with it being online, I think it really depends on the person, uh, because I think some people like might really like like the team aspect and everything of it. But I am just 
I am simply a silly little solo game player. I play one player roguelike <laughs> adventure indie games. Uh, you tell me about like I, I if I get I got a plus seven breastplate uh plus seven evasion. I know what that means. I can tell you what to do with that. You tell me I have to uh, no scope down the lane uh, and find the hydro dragon. Uh, <laughs> then I'm, I'm out. <laughs> uh, me when MOBA brain hurt. Yeah. He... <laughs> Salem Oldio. <laughs> uh, geez, 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 geez. Uh, let me take a sh uh, sip. Because I have some homemade Thai, or not homemade, but some, some, um, some, uh, some, uh, I don't know what to call it. Like, a uh, home, like, mixed Thai tea. There's like a, uh, a couple little packets with like pre-made boba and stuff that you put together. And I actually, I thought it was going to be really bad. I thought it was going to be quite terrible, and to be honest, it's it's very passable. Like, I thought microwave boba tea was going to be not not great. <laughs> you gotta crumbulate the mobs until you can proc. Yeah, that's that's what I heard, Lillian. That's that's the strat I generally go with. <laughs> can we ban next? <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, maybe. Hold on. Hold on. I actually, I was going to do like a one second timeout just as a little funny, as a little joke, but I actually don't know how to do that. <laughs> uh, stretch Archon, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I, I, I have my, my cold, my cold, I keep calling it Thai tea, but it's just black tea. It's like the brown sugar, black tea, kind of, kind of boba. Um, got that, got my hot tea for, for later. We're going to move things around a little bit. And then we're going to get started gaming, I think. I think we're going to be gamers tonight. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, right, can I bring up the mod panel for you? Uh, okay, yeah, 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 there we go. Okay, okay, I did actually, okay, I think I did know that at one point, but you know, hey. The Swiss cheese brain of mine. So memory's the first thing to go. <laughs> Uh, do, 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 do. you should try Twitch as one of your champions. Uh, and before you play them, do a line of co what? What? <laughs> Hello? I don't. I don't know about that one. <laughs> All right. Okay. I think we're gonna switch over. I've been. I keep getting distracted. So let's. Uh, let's head over to. Uh, check out Arcadium first, which is uh, the one I have. I truly know nothing about this game. I just saw it on the Steam store page and I thought it looked fun and funky uh, and had a nice cool. It uh, had a nice aesthetic. So uh, we're going to discover together, I guess. <laughs> so let's go. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, all right, there we go. All right, let's go. Hello, everybody. All right, we're a little too close now, so why don't we back off a little bit? I don't really know where I'm going to need to be for this game, but I feel like bottom right-hand corner is always kind of a safe bet. As Salem centered. Align, align right, align right. Get your ear, 
<laughs> get your ears out of the game. The ears, the ears stay on for the gaming. All right, so let's let's get some fun, funky, fresh little lighting going. I feel like I picked up the like fun, funky, fresh thing from from Hora. I know like a lot of people say it, but I feel like I feel like it's there's there's something specifically about the way that Hora says it that I'm like it, it's a little brain worm. Oh my gosh, that's like when uh, the other day I was talking uh, with with uh, uh, my D and D group, which includes uh, Lilin and Hora and and some other buddies. And oh my gosh, what was I can't remember the exact name of the. Uh, song if you can even call it that but it was like this old meme i guess that i've i'd never seen before it was a uh, interior crocodile alligator and it's it's just it's truly just like the same two lines looped and it's such a bop and i'd never heard of it before and hora introduced introduced us all to it and i was like oh this is gonna be in my brain for a while <laughs> interior crocodile alligator yeah it's uh, that wasn't really stuck in my brain. All right. So we're going to get a little bit of this. We're going to get a little bit of this. All right. So we got some, some light, some lighting. Wish for y'all. There, like that, like that noise. I couldn't recreate that. I can't. It truly just comes out of my mouth. I don't know. I I black out for three and a half seconds while I make a noise. <laughs> um, Stretch Archon, uh, Posture Check Archon. Thank you very much. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, all right. So, uh, oh gosh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. All right, so yeah, if you guys could just let me know if the noise is, uh, if the, the sound needs to be turned up, turned down, anything like that, when I start it, just let me know and I will adjust as needed. I, the Chevrolet movie theater, it's such a, it, like, why does it, why is it so good? It doesn't have any right to be that good. Uh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so let's get started. It looks like it might be a little bit loud. I'm gonna turn down. Do you? Is this is this okay? Is this da, 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 da. Is this <laughs> does this sound all right? The the balance and everything. <laughs> Best part of the lack of model redeems is permanent cat ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there is there's a trade. I know I've 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 taken I've taken from you. I give I try to give back as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Yeah. Now I just kind of uh, I kind of just play uh, 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 just put on whichever one it feels like it's. I'm in the mood for whatever feels like it's. It kind of suits that night. And I feel like um, I don't know. Catlum kind of fits like both like Gremlin nights, and it also fits ASMR night. So it's kind of. I just, I, they're very expressive, and I really enjoy that. <laughs> Let's see, the whole freestyle rap is awesome, but Chevrolet Movie Theater is the best part. I, the one I saw just had the same two lines about interior crocodile alligator, I drive a Chevrolet Movie Theater. That is that is o the only lines and <laughs> the ones that I saw. I didn't even know there was more. <laughs> uh, so you play you but you uh you play it you play it by ear. Yeah yeah I can't yeah I, I suppose you got that you got me there. <laughs> All right. So I don't know what any of this is. Let me check the settings. And make sure if there's any like. Screen shake or blur, so maybe turn that off. Cause I, it always makes me nauseous. Whoa, what's going on here? Why is there? Why is there like transparency? What the heck? 
I don't know what's. Huh? <laughs> I have no idea why this is happening. I actually, I have one idea of why it might be happening, but I have no clue as to. Hey, okay, well, I think I know how to fix it. Okay, that did it. That was so strange. <laughs> that was like astral projection, Salem. It was kind of a cool effect. I did kind of like that. <laughs> uh. All right. Uh, it's mostly be beans. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the coven, and I hope you have a cozy time with us here tonight. Mwah. Thank you very much. All right. So no screen shake, so I think we're all good. So we're just gonna start a new game. I don't know what any of this is, so I'm gonna be learning with you guys. <laughs> Salem stand is just me, but uh, bigger. <laughs> it's just the same. Uh. That's my, uh, my simulacrum, actually. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so these are, what is, what's happening here? So these are different ships. Okay, so I have, uh, two choices at the start. Uh, I can increase your energy recharge or increase your damage. This has Radiant Bomb. Launch the power of bomb, it destroys enemy bullets. Deals a bunch of damage. Radiant Shield creates a shield that inherits 50% of your max HP, lasts up to 15 seconds. I'm trying to absorb so hard. <laughs> uh, brain is going to have to be on full cylinders for this one, I guess. Uh, okay. Uh, rapidly dash forward, gaining temporary instability, augmenting the collision damage by 100. One through rotating fireballs, dealing 400% damage. I like the sound of this radiant bomb. I kind of want to try it. So I think I think we'll take out Terra Radiant Spirit first, I suppose. It's all Greek to me. Okay, so beat 15 minutes. That's all. We could do that. We could do 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to recolor set League of Legends and draw some JoJo type bit. Make it JoJo Salem. Oh no! <laughs> that sounds so... I, I love that, but it also sounds cursed. Uh, the ear twitching while processing information. <laughs> uh, yeah, gotta, gotta, gotta entertain, gotta entertain during the struggle somehow. Landing on planets, gathering their resources is vital for survival. Nearby planets are marked with green arrows. Careful positioning while approaching a planet is essential. Okay, so don't run face first into a planet. We could do that. We could do that. Landing on planets and gathering resources is vital for Oh, okay. When landing, try to use gravity to your advantage. Uh, sure. Is that an enemy? I don't think it was an enemy. Okay. Okay, we're in this. Hello? Uh, can I land on that? That doesn't seem like a planet that you can land on. It doesn't... I mean, I guess you, you don't... You, you don't know if you don't try? Oh, you can land on it. Okay. I was like, this looks like a star. So this doesn't look like a place I should be able to land on. <laughs> Wave of an alien's approaching. Don't worry, I got it. I got you. Ah, I think I got hit uh, multiple times, actually. <laughs> it sucks that sun just uh, taking all the nutrients. Uh, okay, increase your pickup radius, increase your max HP, healing bonus by 10%. For 6 seconds, spawn 3 stars that seek the nearest enemy and explode on contact, dealing 200% damage. Um, let's try freezing stars, that sounds fun. Health is probably the better idea, but like... Like, you're kind of constantly doomed to lose during... Oh jeez, okay. Well, that was my Radiant Bomb, apparently. But like you're kind of destined to lose like the first runs in these kinds of games. Like you you're kind of just meant to to farm resources and eventually get stronger to be able to beat it. So 
Let's try, try some stuff. We, you know, health is always good, but we gotta figure out what else is good. Uh, okay, every six shots spawn three piercing frost blades that deal 150% damage and freeze for 0.5 seconds. I actually think the movement speed is probably good here because I feel like I'm a little bit slower than the enemy is. But I want to try Frostblade Barrage. Like, that sounds cool. How could I not choose that one? Hey, okay. So I think that's like a level. Or not not like my level, but I think that seems like a wave of enemies is done. When you level up, launch a powerful bomb that deals 100% damage to all enemies, push them afar, and destroy all enemy bullets it encounters. Um, let's go to level two on the freezing stars. I've never played this game, I just think it'd be cool. Go for more ice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Double down. That's always sort of the struggle, I feel like, with these games, is figuring out... Um, they're sometimes oriented in a way... Oh, is this like a shop? Oh, I can't afford anything anyway. But they're sort of sometimes... Do I have like a dash or anything? Let's see, settings... Controller... Uh, first skill, second skill. All right, that's about it. Okay. Um, but it's it's sort of hard with some of these games. They sort of have. There's like a different way different games in this genre want you to go about it. Like I feel like sometimes, like they just want you to get more like just in like Hades terms like boons. Like you know they they want you to get more boons. Uh, the the more the more boons, the more skills, the more talents, whatever you want to call them. Oh gosh, I'm. Uh, in combat again <laughs> uh the better and then like other times these games sort of want you to like get like a couple skills and then really focus on them like let's say if you get like ice you want to just like some games want you to just get a ton of ice and just really double down on it and other games like have like a lot of synergies between like ice abilities and fire abilities and that kind of thing so it's always kind of hard to tell hmm Five shots. Uh, let's go level level two in Frostblade Barrage. Ooh, not having a dash here is scary though. I wonder if that's like an unlock later. When you quadruple down on an element. <laughs> Salem casually not worrying about health immediately reminds me of old Hades runs. Okay, this is... <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is, in Hades, that was okay. I was, I was kind of, I was like, I don't want to sound like I'm like toot my own horn, but I played that game for 600 hours. I was, I was okay enough. Like if I lost, I like, got death defiance. I was good. I knew, I, like I knew when I was in danger and when I wasn't. This game, hell, to your guess, good as mine. <laughs> Uh, whatever you level up, launch a power bomb that deals 100% damage to all enemies. Person oh, we read that one like, earlier, I think. Every six seconds, if you don't lose HP due to a hit, shoot an indestructible bouncing star that pierces enemies, dealing 200% damage, and time stops for one second. Last four seconds, heck yeah. Oh, there was, there was never any other option. Hmm. <laughs> The only HP that matters is your last one. Yeah, health is, hey, health is a resource. That's what it's it's all about, you know? Do I have to like land on the... Okay, so it doesn't matter if my ship is like laying on its side, okay. <laughs> I just, I didn't know if it needed to be, uh, I needed to land correctly or if just any which way was okay. I'm still a little bit I'm a little bit in the way of a couple things. Let me let me move myself just a just a smidgen. Become small. Okay, I think maybe here we'll be good. We'll try it out. Oh no! Oh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> My game crashed. It died. Oh, I just got that, like, really fun sound and time stop one, too. Dang. Okay, let's let's get back to it. I have, honestly, like, 7,000 programs running on my computer right now, so it's I'm not, I'm not surprised, but... <laughs> okay, let's try this again. 
because I still have my my um uh uh stretch and posture check next. Thank you very much. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Oh, okay, okay. We just get to pick up from where we were. That's great. Um, but yeah, so uh. Oh, I fully forgot what I was saying. <laughs> that's that's it, I guess. That's the end of the thought. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, no audio? <laughs> okay, let me fix that. Thank you for letting me know. Much appreciated. There we go, there we go. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I love to. I'm suddenly in like focus mode for some reason. <laughs> Oh, okay, so it's not like a it's not like a global time stop kind of thing, but it's just like a little uh okay, maybe I need to take some some movement speed if I get it. <laughs> okay, I'll take the movement speed, it's boring, I guess. <laughs> um But no, yeah, I uh <laughs> This is what I always say, like with with Oh, I was like, what is that? Um I'm just, I'm such a bad multitasker, which is truly a talent that, like, or a skill that is, it, I would say is pretty integral to streaming, <laughs> being able to do multiple things at once, such as speaking and looking at your computer screen at the same time. And, you know, sometimes it's a struggle. <laughs> what are these? Do they give me anything? Oh, they do give me something. But yeah, I think I, I think what I was saying was I thought that time stop was gonna be like a global like screen wide kind of thing. It was not. But I am kind of starting to get caught up by enemies, so. Think energy recharge, movement speed. I think maybe one more on the movement speed, because that does feel helpful. Brandon, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the coven and glad to have you here with us. Mwah. Thank you, thank you. Oh, there we go. But it's just seeing all of the like experience like blinking out like there's like how there's like a timer on it. I'm like, please, I want to dash so bad. <laughs> uh, slide the dream deep. That is Siv. Siv? My eyes are just not great. <laughs> Dream Deer, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Glad to have you here with us. Thank you for joining the coven. Mwah. Mwah. Hope you hope you have a cozy time here. Uh, God's put me in a PvP for server, and I fully intend on making use of it. I did not get the context for the first part of that statement, but I am afraid. <laughs> Game reminds me of Vampire Survivors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so interesting that like Vampire Survivors really like. Well, I gotta read. <laughs> Increase max HP every 4.5 seconds. Uh, let's. Ooh, last eight seconds. Let's definitely double that up. Um, but yeah, it was so interesting that like, I know there are sort of like there are games that like Vampire Survivor is based on that that were were its inspiration. Like, it didn't fully invent the genre, but I think it did enough for this whole like survivor type game. Um sort of like kind of an auto battler I guess like this one isn't the most it isn't I wouldn't say it's fully like a vampire survivors like because you do have control over like where you aim and and uh like it's not just like you sort of take a weapon and it shoots wherever it shoots like with uh, a lot of the auto battlers um but it's still 
kind of got that same level up system and everything. Uh, and it's just so interesting that it was like, that really wasn't a genre that you saw around much for uh, before, before Vampire Survivors. But it was, it just took off so well with Vampire Survivors. Like they just did, uh, hold on, reading. Three seconds, spawn three stars. Um, I don't actually know what, I, I, I do wish a little bit that it showed like what I was upgrading from because I don't know what's changed here. Um, let's go. I don't, I truly have no idea what's helping me the most and what is not. Um, I think let's go one last on the movement speed and then that's, I think that's it for movement speed. <laughs> Contact with two messages higher. My screen only shows so many. <laughs> Um, let's see, indie games come, come in waves, like the Amnesia Horror Wave, the Undertale Meta Story Wave, yeah, 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 I could see that. But it was just like, there, there was such, like, such an incredible, like, they're, they're, I mean, they're still coming out with all of these roguelikes, or not roguelikes, but like, survivor, survival, um, I don't even really know what to call them, like, survivor-like games, uh, and I, I, I think people have, it, it has sort of slowed down, but I think it's, it's honestly like it works very well with streaming because I feel like, how do you, how do you put this? I feel like some games are very streamable and some games are not. It's just how it is. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with how good or bad the game is, but some of them just are, are kind of inherently less interesting, like something that's really fun to play for yourself isn't always something that is very watchable. Um, and I think, in my opinion, I think the watchability of games really just has, has, I think a lot of it is how easy it is to just come in and know what's happening in the game. To not really have to know a lot about the game, but you know who the enemies are, you know what we're doing, you know when I'm attacking, like that, that kind of stuff. Just, just having an idea of the basics and being able to grasp those very quickly, I think is really good for, for like streamable games, I guess. And yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's very interesting because there's some games that I've, I've thought would do really well for streams. Oh, my cat's me. I'm gonna let him in. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry, I was in the middle of a, of a thought. He just wanted me to open the door so he could stare at me for a little bit. <laughs> oh no, here we go. Hmm. Me, me and Binks. Uh, I'm glad I'll, he's he's been he's been a good little guy lately. I'll give him a, I'll give him a little squits for you guys later. I promise. <laughs> hmm. Increase energy recharge. Yes. What can I help you with? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, we'll just do energy recharge, I guess. Oh, wait, I wasn't... No, wait, I wasn't done! I only got, like, 30% of that planet, I think. I'm... I thought that the, 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 the movement speed was helping me out at first, but I don't, I don't know so much that it is now. <laughs> Uh, pickup radius is probably a pretty big one because I feel like I have to get pretty close to the enemies and the, the experience does go away. Let's grab as much as we can. <laughs> Why are your ears glow in the dark? Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> 
Some it's just it's just how how it be. Did I crash into the planet? I did crash into the planet. No. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Got them RGB gamer ears. I need to figure out how to like do that and have them have them uh, have the, the 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 rainbow vomit uh, light going through my my little ear puffs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hora, hello. Thank you for the reset. I was just mentioning you earlier. I was just talking about how uh, how you got uh, that that little brain worm, the interior crocodile alligator, <laughs> stuck in my head. <laughs> hello, hello. How you doing? <laughs> Can't just ask someone why their ears glowing. It's it's personal. There's trauma behind it. <laughs> There's no trauma behind it. <laughs> Looking at that summary, that was all the movements. Be uh, yeah yeah yeah. I think I I I didn't compensate for the movement speed when I tried to turn around. <laughs> hmm. So let's see if there's any. Can you like? buy things or is it just like you unlock through okay so it's just like unlocked through completing missions not through buying stuff I think oh but you can okay you can get art I think it's artifacts okay um Okay, so you just sort of unlock these, I guess. You don't necessarily buy them. So we've only got two artifacts anyway, so I guess that's what we're what we're putting on. I don't even actually I didn't see what those did, to be honest. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. I don't know how this button orientation is working. Okay. Pickups last 30% more time before they expire. One of you fall below 15% HP from a hit, release a shockwave that deals 300% damage to all enemies. I feel like stuff like this, it is, in, in these sorts of games, it, it is like a nice ability, but I, like, it's, it's good to save you in a pinch, but I do feel like if you've gotten to a point where you're starting to get below 15% HP, like, if you're using this enough, like, th this style of thing enough to where you're getting, like, a decent return from it, you're probably, the you're probably kind of already on a, a, a doomed run <laughs> anyway i just feel like a lot of these times when things start to go sour in these games like it goes sour fast once you start getting hit and your health goes down your health goes down low you're kind of it's kind of just the waiting game okay so we got through about seven minutes that's that's pretty good i think <laughs> oh wait i see a question hold on let me <laughs> Just waking up after a headache now. Oh, I hope you feel better, Hora. Hope your your headache is has lightened up a little bit. Bit of an off-topic question for a game stream, but what got you into ASMR? I was considering looking into starting a channel as a hobby of some kind. So, uh, hold on, let me take a a a, a boba sip. All right, so uh, kind of what uh, Toad Bagel, thank you for the follow, welcome in, welcome to the coven, and I hope you enjoy a cozy little time here with us. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, controller? Oh, my controller came off. There's a lot happening right now. <laughs> so I originally got into ASMR um, really before, oh, thank you for the, the, the gift sub, Toad. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And Jay, I hope you enjoy your community, your, your community emotes, your, your Salem emotes, rather. Um, so I originally got into ASMR really before um, the like VA AS type ASMR really took off. It, it might have existed, um, but I just don't I don't remember seeing it um, at, at all, really. Uh, it was sort of before it was popularized, it was all still sort of the the visual, um, like, IRL camera recordings of, of, of uh, ASMR was, was pretty much everything. Because this was back sort of when, 
um, massage ASMR, Heather Feather, um, uh, some of sort of the OG ASMR creators were, were still, um, let's, sorry, I gotta read for a second. Whenever you level up, launch a powerful bomb that deals 100% damage to all enemies. Um, let's just go with the pickup radius since it's early, I think. Um, so... Uh, uh, so the ASMR answer? No, 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 no. That's not how I mean it. <laughs> so, um, I. Oh, Jay, hello! Thank you so much for the uh, the raid. Much appreciated. I hope you had a a wonderful night. Thank you, thank you. It's good to good to see everybody. Hello, hello. Let me go ahead and just pause. Actually, we just got to level up, so that's perfect. Let me uh. We're gonna introduce ourselves a little more properly. Let me, let me. Hello, hello. It's good to see you. What were you doing? What were you doing on uh, on stream tonight, Jay? Uh, like I said, welcome in everybody. Uh, Dead Zone. Uh, no good. Hello, hello. Thank you for the follows. Playing some. Bubba is you. I have no. I've never. I don't think I've ever heard of it. I hope you had a good time either way, though. I hope you enjoyed. Hope, hope. Uh, I'm sure chat had a wonderful time. I hope you're uh, getting getting some rest and some some hydration and everything afterwards. Anything you need to uh, to to recoup a little bit. Uh, but uh, Baba is you is big brain game. Oh, is it like a puzzle game or something. <laughs> But uh, hello, everybody. It's nice to meet you. My name is Salem. I am a witch boy VTuber. Uh, I originally came from YouTube. I do ASMR. I actually just recently started uploading again. Uh, and I do a lot of ASMR streams, but tonight we're just kind of chilling and trying some some little indie roguelike games and stuff. We're just hanging out, having a little uh, sort of like sleepover vibes, you know? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, a cute little puzzle game. I'll have to check it out. I've kind of been getting more into like puzzle stuff lately. So I think that maybe maybe it'd be fun to try. So I appreciate the uh, the knowledge. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> is this Asteroid Survivors? So this is a game called Ar Arcadia, Arcadium, Arcadium, I think. Um, and it is essentially like a... a uh, it's kind of in the same vein as like the uh like vampire survivor probably asteroid uh type games like like that uh yeah where you just you you go you get level ups you kill enemies you you get experience and wash rinse repeat <laughs> random random folk have said my voice sounds like yours and you're super sweet so i figured perfect oh hey that's perfect that works out great <laughs> <laughs> well, once again, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Feel free to uh, to chill and relax if you would like. Uh, if you're headed off to get some some rest or, or get some things done, uh, once again, thank you so much for, for stopping by and uh, letting me say hello to all your all your all your buddies there. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Can lurk and enjoy the vibes. Oh well, I hope you have a good lurk. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, the pickup radius scales fast. Um, if you obtain a pickup, shoot a piercing projectile towards the nearest enemy. Ooh, shooting pickups and getting leveling up magnet more. I think that feels that feels like there's something there. Oh, I need to, I need to. I'm still, I'm large. I need to be small. There we go. It's a fire. Hello, hello. What's well, an airplane with a friendo? So we'll talk to you later. Oh, I hope you I hope you have a good time. <laughs> uh, Nix, thank you for the posture check. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. And the stretch as well. All right, we're uncrunched, and we're we're all stretched and yawned and all that good stuff. All right. Uh, but yeah, so I'm surprised I actually do remember what I was talking about before. <laughs> so, uh, with, uh, ASMR. So, uh, yeah, I kind of got into it with, um, like, some of the more traditional, like, ASMR discs. Like I said, like, uh, Whispers Red, Heather Feather, Massage ASMR were some of the big ones for me. Um, and then kind of Fred's voice. Um, I didn't really watch much of Gentle Whispering. Or Gentle Whispers? 
gentle whispering, something like that. Um, but that was kind of around the same time that I started watching ASMR too. And I mean, I would listen to ASMR like every night. I, I think Massage ASMR was one of the people that I listened to the most. Like a lot of his, his silver soap videos and crinkle heavens and uh, Dr. Dimitri, all of, all of that for those of you who might have watched him before. Um, but yeah, and, and I, I was always sort of more into the, the role play, st role play style content though. Um, you know, like I said, like the, like Dr. Dimitri stuff from Massage ASMR and then Goodnight Moon was really sort of the, the one who changed it all for me <laughs> in a way where she was really the first person who did, um, role plays that are in the same vein as like the style that I really like and she of course is is more of like a you know she doesn't do like VA stuff uh, but she does like actual recorded stuff her set building and and everything is gorgeous it she is truly so amazing at like building a really immersive set matching all the colors like I remember like catching I think it was a stream it might have been a behind the scenes video that uh, she did a while back um where she like was showing some like crafts that she did like when she was like painting dragon eggs through her videos and, stuff. and she just put so much work into it and everything and it's got that same like fantasy witchy like dragons um like kind of vibe that i i really enjoy and then eventually with the sort of like va asmr stuff um, hold on, reading break. Uh, whenever you defeat an enemy, 5% chance to spawn a drone that for a brief duration shoots other enemies for 125% damage. That sounds pretty fun, I think. Let's try that. Um, so... Um, yeah, she, like I said, she was kind of the first person who did that, that sort of, um, style, I suppose. Uh... That, like for for me that that I found and, and really got into and enjoyed, um, but then that's when you sort of start getting into like the development of like more of like the VA style stuff. Um, maybe ten percent chance. Let's try that. Um, that like I said, she she was one of the first people to to. What are you? Why are you? Oh, that was one of my drones, I think. But so then you started getting, um, oh gosh, there was some of the earliest ones that I can remember. Well, those can hit me? What the heck? And it wasn't even like any, like a big hit. It was just like a little offensive little smack. Uh, <laughs> so rude. Um, uh, I guess I'll take the attack speed now, I guess. Um, but yeah, so then you, you had people like, uh, um, uh, uh, Dark and Twisted Whisper, there was Zombie Cat, um, some of these people kind of started around the same time that I did, but, like, even the ones who were, like, newer at the time, like, there was, the whole, like, VA thing was kind of a, a new concept, um, and for me... So I, a lot of them really got into doing like fantasy videos and everything too with the, you know, of course there's always like the, the boyfriend, like comfort audios and, and that sort of thing. And I kind of do a little bit of a mix, I think of, of, of some of these different things. Um, I think we'll go hard on drones. Oh, Binks wants out real quick. But yeah, getting into uh, to to all of that. Um... Oh no, it crashed again. Okay. All right, so we get to astral project for a minute. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. I would enjoy doing ASMR if not for horrors, voice for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard because you do gotta get you really gotta get used to listening to your own voice. <laughs> good night, good night, Moon Menagerie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like her her favorites, of course. I think to nobody's surprise, are still for me, um the um the Babelbrook witches, the uh 
the two that uh, uh, there's like the the dark witch and the good witch or, or, or whatever however you want to call it, but the two of them, oh, so good. I know her her latest her latest video. I still haven't gotten around to watching it, but it's like a little like witch academy prep video, and it looks so cute. I want to see it so bad. <laughs> I think you're leaving before the planet is empty, leveling up in the middle of it. Yeah, I think so, too. I think I keep seeing the level up and thinking I'm done <laughs> and I need to I need to stop. Um, OK, so I think we'll give it we'll give we'll give Arcadium one more try. We'll see if it lasts. And it's honestly, I don't want to, like, say it's like the game's fault or anything, because I have way too many programs running on my computer. I just have projects that are in the middle of all of them that I don't want to close. <laughs> So it could very well be my fault. I'm not like I don't hear my fans like ramping up like crazy or anything, but I don't want to. It's it, it, it's very, it's still possible. <laughs> All right. So let's get the game audio going again. OK, there we go. Uh, Spice Boys would fit in Babelbrook pretty well, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think I think they could I think they could maybe they could work out a deal. <laughs> when I hear the Spice Boys, I think of Spice Girls, but boy band. The idea of taking my Spice Boys and putting them in a boy band is incredibly hilarious. None of them have any idea what's going on. <laughs> uh, what have you defeated an enemy? Oh, okay, so we just continued right from where we were. Okay, 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 okay. So we're good, we're good, we're good. But yeah, so it was just sort of like, you know, a lot of these these um, people started making uh, uh, videos like in this this fantasy, fantasy boy genre that I really enjoyed. Um, I don't know what any of this does. Reduce your bullet spread by 40%. I actually kind of like the bullet spread, so I don't want to do that. Um, I don't know where my HP is. I don't know how to see that. I'm... I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it just shows up when I'm in combat? We'll check on that. Maybe, maybe because I just, maybe I just haven't taken a hit, so it's, it's... Maybe? Ah... Uh, um, but yeah, so a lot of the creators like that, that were making videos, like kind of when VA ASMR really started taking off though, it was a lot of like, it kind of just wasn't the style that I, I hoped for. I don't want to make it sound like anybody is like, no, it was, you know, nothing wrong or anything like that. Like, like the community needs to go in a different direction. I don't mean anything like that. It was just for me. I liked listening to like soft boy, like sweet, cozy, cozy type audios. And a lot of people were not really doing that style. <laughs> um, uh, the the style that people were doing. Um, maybe we'll try Starlight. We'll just we'll just try new stuff for now. See how it all works out. Um, what was this? We can afford this now. Um, but yeah, a lot of people kind of at that time were doing launch grenade towards the nearest enemy that explodes on contact to make 30 energy from your first skill. Uh, sure. Is that, oh, that's not what that, not what I wanted to do there. I don't know how to buy this. Oh, I bought it. Okay. Okay, L, press L2. I'm gonna wait for some enemies and see what that does. <laughs> Okay, a little wasted, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so what was very pop, very popular <laughs> at the time when I kind of started getting more into uh, to, to VA ASMR kind of stuff. Oh, okay, there's my health. So I guess I just hadn't taken a hit yet. Um, but it was all very um, uh, yandere vampire chains you in his basement and. Uh, keeps you as his pet for 700 years, kind of. It was, uh, it was a lot of... Yandere, Yandere was king, truly. Was it, uh, it's, still, it's still very popular. But, like, if you just got into, like, listening to, like, VA ASMR kind of stuff, like, recently, I'm trying so hard not to crash. <laughs> it's it, truly, like, the difference between 
then and now with how um, popular like Yandere uh, stuff was, it's just like night and day. It was like everything was Yandere back in back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! I'm dying. <laughs> I suddenly became dying very fast. Uh, upon defeat, enemies have two chance. Uh, bonuses. Two percent energy. Have you obtained a pickup? Spawn an ally drone. Uh, yeah. It seems like we're kind of going down the drone. The drone pipeline. So I guess we'll try that if we live. Okay, I've got a little shield for now, so. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Um. Every 20 seconds, spawn a mini black hole on the nearest enemy that deals 60% damage. It's a long cooldown, though. Ability cooldowns reduced by. 0.5 seconds per... Okay. Okay, so there is a way to reduce it. 8 seconds is still kind of a long time, but I think it's okay. The others are probably better, but I... I'm just picking the fun options right now. <laughs> 10 HP in a dream, baby. Only just notice there's a real roll button. I did not notice that at all, actually. So you're ahead of, you're ahead of the game with me. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to see if I can find that shop that we were just at. But I don't know that I'm going to be able to. Ooh, yeah, here we go. Health. There we go. I keep thinking I need to shoot it, and that's not how it works. Um. Uh, stretch and posture check. Thank you, thank you, Amy. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh gosh, I had my hands off the controller. I was stretching. But thank you, thank you. Okay, there's a lot happening right now. <laughs> I need less to be happening. <laughs> um, I think my first Salem audio video was Blythe. Uh, I I love. Trust me, there's Blythe. More Blythe is coming. More Blythe is on the way. I love. I love that. I love that sad little guy. <laughs> I, I think Blythe is... is I, I have to just sort of accept that Blythe is one of my own favorite characters. I do have five favoritism for Blythe. <laughs> you obtain a pickup, small ally drone. I think we're kind of going down the drone pipeline, it seems, so... There's kind of a lot going on on the screen. I don't know... I don't know for sure what's going on. I'm just pressing the funny little buttons. <laughs> um, Salem, I love all my sons equally, especially Blythe. <laughs> oh, and you obtain a pickup? Okay. I think, I know I said we were going on the drones, but this black hole one sounds fun. We'll go, maybe we'll get a little, we'll get a little level up on, on, on black holes. I have like an army I'm traveling with now, jeez. Okay. Okay. But yeah, there's, there's uh, definitely some Blythe coming up. Uh, hopefully some, some Avi coming up. Is this the same? Oh, this is a different shop. Okay. Gain three talent rerolls. Oh, what the? What are you? Why are you here? I'm gonna die here. Ah! Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> um. Uh, Sreg, my too easily to my favorite. Oh, I'm glad. Glad you like him. Uh. I just realized my chat is not on screen right now, actually. Hold on, I need to fix that. Uh, do, 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 do. So these need to... Where is my chat overlay? Okay.
Okay, there we go. So now we got we got a little bit of chat on screen. I was I was like, why is it so lonely on screen? There we go. That's why. Kira, hello, hello. A Salem stream. I know. I'm actually I got a schedule and everything now. It's kind of crazy. I think I need to put that on my intro screen actually. Probably maybe j just just for a little while just to make just to start letting people know that I do have like a schedule uh, that I'm starting up so they kind of know when to expect me. I do have I did start to put my my schedule into uh, to Twitch as well. Oh, I actually wanted to start from the main screen because I want to try the other ship. Um, but yeah, so, uh, um, yeah, I have, I have, I have, I have some, some, I got, I got plans. We got, we got videos on videos on videos that I'm ready to make. <laughs> I was truly like possessed by the spirit of the ASM artist yesterday because I, rec I, I had the script already done. Uh, Neonarav, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, welcome to the coven, and I hope you're comfy. I hope you uh, get, uh, get to enjoy some, some good relaxation time with us here tonight. Thank you so much. Mwah. Uh, but yeah, so... For me, like... Oh, I lost track of what I was saying, actually. <laughs> um, I just know I was talking about how much I like Blythe. <laughs> Um, but, oh, 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 yeah, I probably need to put, uh, uh, my schedule on my intro screen here, just for a little bit, just so people know I'm actually going to have some ho uh, attempt at a regular stream schedule. Uh, we'll, we'll see. But yeah, I was, I was sort of possessed by the, the spirit of the ASM artist yesterday. Um, where, like, I already had my script done, but I recorded that sucker, I edited it, I, uh, got all the, the 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 video ready uh just spent like nine hours working on like video content stuff yesterday and uh yeah but i'm very it was very exciting getting to to upload and post again and everything and <gasps> writing all the tags for a video and everything i haven't done that in a while <laughs> so it was nice it was it was good getting getting back to it finally okay so what does this do rapidly dash forward Gain temporary invincibility. Uh, summon three rotating fireballs. Okay. Now that I've played a little bit more, I feel like I like the idea of like the firestorm. The the to keep things from getting too close. The my joystick is very sensitive for some reason. Stretch Archon, thank you very much. Uh, uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we've gotten to eight minutes, so we improved. That's improvement. Uh, is this PC? It is. I think this is. I think this is only out on PC right now because it's a a, a demo. Uh, yeah. I'm not. I don't. I don't really know anything about this game, so I can't. I couldn't tell you what the plans are or anything, unfortunately, for for consoles. But yeah, I I play uh pretty much any any time I'm playing is is uh PC. I, I have a Switch, I have a PS4, I don't have anything on them. I have some games for them, but like nothing that I... Nothing that isn't also on PC, and I just prefer playing on PC so much. Because I don't even... My my uh, family has a TV, but like I personally never use it. I don't have my own TV. Like, I just... I, I, I'm, a, I'm a PC gamer, I guess. <laughs> uh, energy recharge... I think we'll try, maybe we'll try the energy recharge. I haven't really tried that yet, so we can maybe, oh, two, two level ups. Um, movement speed. Yeah, I feel like the movement speed is really kind of hankering me down. So maybe we'll try going more for utility stuff than going straight into combat this time. Did I just hear PS4? Yeah. I don't have a, P I don't have a PS5 because I don't play, because I never played games on my PS4, so I didn't bother getting one. <laughs> But I was always, I was, I was always a PlayStation, PlayStation gamer, uh, when I was younger, at least. What about you guys? What was sort of like your, what was like the console from your? I feel like everybody has like a console from like childhood that is like, that was like the console that like defined, uh, their their like childhood years. I think for me, 
I think like young child Game Boy Advance SP was the one that like defined my my childhood. I just remember going on like car trips and buying like I remember you had to buy like a little light accessory for your for your for your uh, Game Boy Advances because like the screens weren't bright enough, something like that. And, and so I just remember having this little like light attachment <laughs> so I could I could play in the dark uh, on on long road trips. Uh, yeah, so Game Boy Advance SP, like my younger childhood. And then I think the the PlayStation 2, maybe the GameCube 2. I think those two kind of share um, my my affection with my my like later childhood and stuff. Childhood with GameCube, older childhood with Xbox and 360. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, GameCube, I don't know. I know GameCube, I think it was, like, not... It was, like, that was a bad release for Nintendo, wasn't it? Didn't it, like, not do well? But it's so funny because I have such fond memories, like, of especially... Oh, Pokemon Coliseum. I love that game. That was, like, the game that I played all the time. And then Super Smash Bros. Melee, I think, was the GameCube one. Uh, fully harvesting a planet's resource grants. 20 gold. There's a new one. Okay, so if we're doing like energy, maybe 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 we go in on the energy orbs and we try and like use our, our main skills. I never saw what that skill that I got last last round. I don't think I ever saw what it did. If I did, I don't remember it. Um yeah, we'll try going in on like the energy stuff for for our our skills. <laughs> Super Mario Galaxy, anybody? How is there's a new Super Mario game that just came out, isn't there? I, I honestly I have so little knowledge of like the whole like Mario, the Mario multiverse. Um, I don't know I don't know which games or which ones or when they came out or anything like that. Wonder, gotcha. How is that? Is it supposed to be good? <laughs> still have my Game Boy Advance SP. I still play it occasionally. Oh, that's cute. I want to get a... Uh, I never had a DS. I never had any variation of DS. The most recent... Like, my handheld gaming experience went from a Game Boy Advance SP... Oh gosh, there's enemies that are showing up. I need to pause, I think, because I think the enemies show up on a timer. Oh, duh, that would make sense, because you're supposed to make it to 15 minutes, so... Alright, alright, I get it. That's fair, I suppose. Oh, I forgot about that ability. I forgot my abilities were a little different this time. Uh, activate a skill, spawn 8 bullets that deal 200% damage. That, we could go with the energy recharge by 30%, but I think this one, this is kind of a fun synergy with using skills, though. Uh, first console PS1, what early development is it going to Wii and the Xbox 360? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think those were, were, uh, big ones for a lot of people. But I think, yeah, like, my, my handheld experience, though, went from a Game Boy Advance SP, and then the next handheld console I owned was a Nintendo Switch. So there was a very long time that I went without any handheld console. And honestly, I've kind of thought about getting rid of my Switch. I don't really ever use it. I might keep it just for for the sake of like playing Nintendo exclusive games, like f like fruit game, fruit gummy game, <laughs> which I still want to play on stream. I know it's kind of like the fad is starting to pass now, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, I would have to like hook it up with like a um, I'd, yeah, I'd have to get it all hooked up. So I don't know about that one, but. That's kind of the problem too, is like my, my stream setup is already so <laughs> kind of complicated. I like making everything complicated for myself, it seems. Um, uh, but yeah, like, so it's just like the idea of adding like another like console or something to it just seems kind of, kind of like a pain. Golden Statue apparently improves the innate ability of the spaceship that acquires it. Ooh. I don't know what that means or what that did, but that sounds fun. I like that. Oh, wait, I need to. My chat has stopped auto scrolling. Ah. Uh. 
just use your phone camera pointed at the TV. Is it a whole different room? <laughs> I'd have just just a whole stream that's just me playing a game in a different room and yelling. <laughs> uh, what is this game? It's called Arcadium. It's an early uh, demo game, early access, I think, something like that. That is, uh, it's on Steam right now. Uh, yeah, that's really all I know about it, to be honest. I, I, it just looked kind of fun and funky on the store page. I decided to pick it up and try it for tonight. Pokemon Call Steam makes my heart so happy because I feel like not many people actually know about that one. It's still one of my absolute favorite games. Yeah, I think, honestly, like, I think that along with the GameCube was also, that was kind of a flop for Nintendo 2, wasn't it? Oh, I died. He's okay. We'll try, we'll try one more and then I think maybe we'll swap games. Um, yeah, we'll try this ship again. But, uh, yeah, I think Pokemon Coliseum, because it was like supposed to be a little bit more of like a mature, like darker approach to Pokemon. Um, because, you know, they sort of had like all of the, the crime and the gangs and the seedy underbelly of this like uh, city, I remember. And like, yeah, it was like it wasn't dark by any means, but, but compared to Pokemon in general, like it was it was a little bit of a darker tone. Um, and I think that didn't go over well, if I remember correctly. <laughs> uh, also, if I may, just to let you know, if you can, please try out some of the games that made it from PS5 to PC. Uh, like which games? Uh, uh, Rift Apart and Spider-Man, great places to start. Yeah, I think for me, like, um, I hear a lot of good stuff about the Spider-Man games. I don't know that I would ever play them because I don't tend to be like, I sort of have diverged from like the, 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 trend this i swear i'm not trying to sound like a hipster tonight i promise <laughs> but i've kind of diverged from like the main trend of of games where like they everybody wants like not everybody but like the 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 sort of market direction seems to be going towards like realism and like really detailed 3d modeling and really impressive like um realistic like landscapes and stuff like that and i do not like realistic looking games <laughs> i so much heavily prefer like really stylized like art games um 2d games uh side scrollers metroidvanias roguelikes that kind of stuff um and like every new big release is like we have the biggest world you've ever seen you're gonna wander for so many hours you're gonna be so lost and i'm like <laughs> wait wait please just one little indie roguelike that's all i ask for <laughs> i don't care about new games i just become very normal about one game that is truly i'm right on the same page with you next <laughs> uh uh, we didn't last very long in that last one, so maybe we can try going for energy recharge again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've kind of already got the same exact build code. Oh my gosh, this planet is, like, giving me so much experience. Um. Here's your attack speed, movement speed. I, I, I just feel, it feels like that movement speed is really necessary, to be honest. Tears the Kingdom with its three layers of map. Yeah, that's like... That I I actually got um, not Tears of the Kingdom but the uh, Breath of the Wild uh, a while back and I tried playing it and I just like I I will say one of the things in games that like really just I can't I can't do is um, uh, like items that I, I can't remember the name of like the this general type of system but like when items become like fragile or when they break uh, and you have to like repair them. Oh my gosh, like, I know, like, they're sort of, like, adding in, like, a sense of, of realism and stuff with that. I do not like it. I don't like crafting. I do not like crafting in games. Like, yeah, like, item degradation. Durability, yeah, 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 yeah. Those kind of, those kinds of things. I just, I don't, like, literally me and a friend of mine, we were planning on playing V Rising. We never quite got to it, but we had a server set up to go. Um, and then... I literally asked them, I was like, hey, do you mind if I just turn the, like, durability on all of the items off just entirely so we can just make an item and never have to repair it? Because I just, I don't know, it's so frustrating to me. I don't like it. 
<laughs> like I don't mean it. I don't mean to say that it's like bad. Or that I think it's like bad to have in the game. It's just for me, that is like an immediate turn off. That is truly almost like you would have to be a really strong argument for me if I see a game on Steam or something and I'm looking into it. And I'm like, oh, this looks fun. I like this. Has a cool aesthetic. If I find out there's item durability, that is like a 95% chance of me no longer being interested in that game. <laughs> Uh. Oh, losing weapons permanently? Oh, no, I'm not about it. Not about that. <laughs> uh. Yeah, but, uh, it's just, it's just not a system for me. <laughs> I'm honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of picky about video games, and I never realized that, but the more... The more I've played, the more I realize I'm kind of picky. And I don't mean that in a way of like, oh, I have such highbrow tastes. No, I think I like, sometimes I like bad games. <laughs> games that I'm like, this is bad and I know it and I like it anyway. Um, but yeah, I just, I've realized I'm, I'm a little particular sometimes. It's like if a game has crafting and I just sort of have to do it once in a while, like then it's okay. But like, uh, like if it's like a necessary mechanic, I just, I, it's, it's not, it's just not fun for me. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I think I, I don't know if I ever played, I think I watched some friends play like Ratchet and Clank when I was much younger. Yeah, 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 maybe I'll look into it. Uh, have you played Journey? Uh, since you played Journey, have you tried playing Abzu? Um, I haven't really, because that's like an under underwater one, right? Um, yeah, it didn't, that one didn't, like, catch me so much, but, like, it's, it's one of those that's sort of, like, on my list for, like, one day I might try it. I still want to get my, I, I've got to go back and play, I need to do a playthrough of Journey that is, like, <laughs> an achievement-focused playthrough of Journey, which... Journey is such an emotional game to me that that feels sort of sacrilegious to be playing it and being like, oh, I need to get the achievements. <laughs> but I really want the, uh, the co like, there's like a white cloak you can get. And like the more times that you beat Journey, the, the more times that you, uh, or the more like decorative your, your, your like cloak gets. And so sometimes you see these people that have like these like crazy, like decked out, uh, um, uh, wanderers, whatever you want to call them in Journey. Um, I don't know if they have a name. And, like, I, every time I see them, I'll be like, I want to be you! <laughs> uh, uh, it's Journey, but underwater. The next one, Sword of the Sea is a mix of both. Ooh, I don't know that I've heard of Sword of the Sea. I know that Sky Children of Light just recently came to, to PC, at least for, like, a demo or something, didn't it? Or it got announced? Um, yeah, I, I really want to try Sky. I've heard their, I think the first game that studio made, um, I've heard is like, it's nice to like play as somebody who enjoys like Journey and, and their other games and everything, but it's not necessarily like the most spectacular experience just compared to sort of what they've refined with like Journey and everything. But I, I really want to try Sky. That's like one of the studios that, that, I would I would play probably pretty much anything they came out with just because of the studio. Sort of like, I don't really... None of these really help with... Uh, we've been on this page for 700 years. I'm so sorry. Let me... Okay, yeah. Here we go. Um, but yeah, so... Um, sort of sees Protag surfs on a, <laughs> a giant sword scabbard. I love that. But yeah, I think like... The, the only two studios that I would, like, fully just get whatever they came out with, like, based on the studio alone is is the studio that made Journey and then uh, Super Giant. Because I've played a little bit of Pyre. Um, I've watched people play Transistor. No, no, no. I've watched I've watched a playthrough of Bastion. I don't know anything about Transistor. Um, but I want to go through and, and play all of them maybe before Hades 2 comes out when I have a little super giant marathon. 
<laughs> what if we put our Minecraft beds together? Oh, it's so romantic. <laughs> um, but yeah, I saw somebody ask about Spyro. I don't think I ever played Spyro when I was younger. Um, but I, I, I think I had one of the games actually, but I never really played it. I remember, I think I played Spyro in like, oh my gosh, this is so old. But do any of you remember like back in the days, like when McDonald's play places used to have like those little like video game um, installments in them where you could go and play games. Um, I think my McDonald's had a Spyro game in there and I think every once in a while I would play it there. <laughs> yeah, I think that was probably the the my the extent of my experience with Spyro. Spyro looks like a cute game series though. It's definitely one that I would like consider like visiting as as an adult as well. Um, oh my gosh, there was one game, something about this just like sparked this like dark core memory. <laughs> it's not like dark, but like um I remember there was a game that my cousin used to play all the time and we weren't really like me and me and I like with my family like I think they had said like they didn't really want me playing it or watching him play or anything because it was kind of like it was something about like a squirrel it was just a lot of like potty humor and stuff which um is not really my thing anyway but there was just you know it was something about this game like because I told I wasn't supposed to watch it as a kid, I suddenly wanted to watch it. <laughs> Conquer's Bad Fur Day. That's what it was. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I just, I remember like the poop monster fight. Uh, there's just, there's, it, it's a gross, I, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to go back and watch it or play it or anything now. It's a gross game. <laughs> but it's just, it's just not my, my sense of humor. Um, uh, pick up radius or energy orbs. Let's go hard on the energy. I say as I'm not using my skills at all. <laughs> yeah, it was just, uh... Oh! I meant to... I meant to... <laughs> actually hit something there, and I did not. <laughs> Um, you level up every six seconds. Uh, I think Freezing Star is probably the best of these. Um, what sort of, I, I, uh, I think I saw Scald Scaldic, I believe, I'm so sorry, uh, uh, asking about, um, uh, what I look for in games. And I'm not sure, honestly, I, I... I'm one of those people that has like that infuriating tendency where I know what I don't like, but I don't know what I do like. Do you guys ever have that where you're like, I can't tell you what I'm looking for, but I can tell you that this the, the things I'm seeing are not it. <laughs> um, but I think for me, what I'm looking for in games mostly, um, genre wise, pretty. Uh, I, I can be a bit specific with. I, I do tend to prefer like survivor-like games like this and um bullet heavens bullet hells roguelikes um i generally don't like games that are incredibly challenging um like i like stuff like a uh, um gungeon like enter the gungeon i do love watching i love watching other people play it but for me it's a little too frustrating <laughs> My my god gamer skills are uh, not they're not existent not there. <laughs> um, uh, let's go pick up radius. <laughs> yeah, so uh, rogue likes survivor survivor likes. Um, I thought that comment was gonna hit me again. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think those, um, I, I definitely, I know I look for, for like non open world games, like that, that's sort of one of the first things I look at is like, whether, uh, like what the, the story in a game is like, if it's like a story based game, um, because I do prefer, I, I, I feel like a lot of people really like immersion in their games. Like they want to feel like they are the person in their, like in the game, which I think is like, a, you know, super valid way of, of enjoying video games but i 
I and I think that's like the kind of the popular trend that that people tend to design for in games. Yeah, they want to feel like Spider-Man. Whereas I I don't want to feel like I'm in the game. I want to sort of take the role of the character and see the story that's been sort of spun around their life, if that makes sense. It's just sort of a, a um, like, I, I, I prefer, like, linear adventures. Um, I don't like it when it's just like, hey, you can do whatever. Like, the problem I have with, like, Minecraft and stuff is, like, you get in the game and there's no guidance. And that's so scary to me. I don't, I need you to tell me what to build or where to go or what's happening. Like, I, I need, I need a directive. <laughs> Stuff like, and I think that sort of comes to me in a lot of different media too. Um, okay, let me focus. What do I want to take here? Four and a half seconds, spawn three stars, level two. We'll just level that up. I keep dying and not taking the max health, and I probably need to start taking the max health. Um, uh, yeah, so that's like that's why i really like like these kind of like survivor like games because it's like there is a clear concrete goal like i know what i need to be doing here is just flying around going to planets and then shooting little alien spaceship dudes uh so th that's what i really enjoy in games is is having just a clear-cut goal um because i think even the closest game that i ever came to um uh, I'm so sorry. Give me just a second. I need to read. <laughs> Summon a breaking bullet on enemy detection. Become furious. Chain attacking. 700% damage per hit. Uh, 60 cooldown. Increase your damage speed by 20%. Bullet spread by 30%. Gain three talent rules. I think we'll go with a breaking ball. Try it. Um, but yeah, like the closest I ever came to series that were like open world, um, that I that I ever tried was like that I really enjoyed was probably the uh, Dot Hack GU series because they sort of simulate like an MMO. It's a it's not actually like an MMO game, but it's it's that's what it's supposed to feel like, but you're sort of going through the story of a character in an MMO rather than Oh, I thought I died. Okay, I think I need to increase my max HP right now cuz otherwise I'm I'm just dead. <laughs> um yeah, the, the Dot Hack GU series did a really good job of making sure like things felt like you could travel and go see different places, but there was still a directive. Like you weren't on a timer or anything, but at the end of the day, you weren't progressing in the game until you went and did, did this one particular thing. Uh, can I say if you like a great story, play God of War, has an emotional story? Yeah, I've thought about God of War. I, I, I've seen it around a little bit and... Um, I do tend to go for a certain aesthetic in my games that that doesn't, uh, like I said, I'm so sorry. I know I'm picky. I, I promise I know. I'm so sorry. Um, but God of War is one that I've considered. Um, e because even though like the, the differences in sort of my, my aesthetic preferences kind of clash with it. Um, I think the, the systems in it and the combat and everything seems, seems like a fun time. Um, upon defeat, enemies have 2% chance to spawn a red heart that recovers 10 HP. I was going to take the max HP, but actually, that's pretty good. And everything in this game seems to scale pretty well, so... That's that's one thing I enjoy. I, I feel like one thing that I really have a hard time with in, in roguelike sometimes is, like, sometimes they just don't want to give you, like... Game designers, I feel like sometimes, like with, with these indie games, in my opinion, can just be a little too reserved about like making sure you don't get like super powerful or you don't, there's not like like a really broken build or something. But it's kind of part of the fun of these games, I think. So for me, like, I, I would prefer like them make it so you accidentally get too strong than feeling like you're always constantly struggling forever. <laughs> Recalling the axe in God of War is satisfying. I think I remember seeing. I think I remember that. Seeing seeing the uh, the person I watched. A, I, I watched a little bit of a playthrough of it. Uh, it. It was kind of one of those things where I was watching a, uh, a streamer I like, and I wasn't super invested in the game, but I I, I caught some of it. And uh, yeah, what I did see did look did look fun. Like I mean, all you know, all the the gods and mythology and everything that is that is right up my alley. 
I want to play Shadow the Colossus one day too. I played like there was like a demo CD it was on like lo- like so so many years ago. Like this was before Shadow of the Colossus came out. <laughs> uh, there was a demo CD for it, but the problem is I think it's like it's not I don't think it's on like Steam or anything. I don't think I don't think there's a PC port. If there is, I might have to look more into it, but Launch a power bomb to deal 100% damage to all enemies. I think I'll just increase my max HP some more. Yeah, Shadow of the Colossus, like I've heard, like it it looks really good. And I know so many people who that was like a really impactful story for and everything when they were younger. Um, it's on PS4. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I, I've seen that. <laughs> no, you're not going to give me this time. Yeah, so I think those were were. It, it, the Shadow of the Colossus was probably a game that was like so close to being a formative game for me, and then it just wasn't because I never actually played it. <laughs> I think I played it like once, and I think it was it was it was too hard for me as a kid, <laughs> so that I just gave up. <laughs> Jeez, fully recover your HP and enemy. I love. Okay, oh, I actually probably should have saved that for after this battle. Didn't, didn't realize we were going right into a combat here. A <laughs> uh, bit of an old, uh, old choice. The Ezio collection for Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is another game series like that nev never necessarily fit like my, like what I was looking for in a game, but like it, it seemed like a really good game series. Like I've, I've, I've always heard like people speak about them with, with a lot of fondness. Oh no, Elle's still awake. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope I hope you can get some rest soon, Elle. <laughs> Try Laugh Guardian 2 if possible. Oh, I don't think I've heard of that one. <laughs> Any games I play, I have lovely music and helps to daydream and jump. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, let's pick up radius. Ah, uh, kind of, kind of suffering out here. <laughs> okay, whenever you activate a skill, spawn eight bullets. Okay, so we're trying to go into a skill build, so that feels like it's good for us. I keep sort of dashing in the wrong direction, you know? <laughs> Must travel to bed. Uh, cause we got class to Oh, good luck with class. Thank you for stopping by our cars. Good to say hello. Last Guardian is such a wholesome experience. Ooh, I might have to, I'll have to check it out. I mean, I don't want to sound like I never like break out of like my own um, game preferences or anything. Like I said, you know, like I've I never would have imagined that I play a MOBA and here we are with some plans to, to League of Legends it up with, uh, with, with Tycho and everything. Uh, I did play Doom Eternal um, for like one session one time <laughs> because I I just thought like the um uh, I wasn't expecting enemies to be right here um but yeah I just like I, I thought the idea of a a oh gosh get me out of here hearts hearts give me the hearts please um Yeah, I, I, oh gosh, I totally lost track of what I was saying. I got so scared. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did try uh, Doom Eternal one time and uh, uh, I think there was like, there was like screen shake or something in it and it made me sick. <laughs> I think that I, there might have been a way to turn it off or something, but it was like by the time I realized there was like motion, motion blur is probably what it was. Um, I tried, I, I got far enough that I was like, oh, I'm feeling very sick all of a sudden, and I just never opened it back up and turned Motion Blur off. <laughs> which is so funny, because that's the same experience I had with Genshin, which is why I always have to check games for Motion Blur now, because it makes me nauseous. And uh, I remember being like 20, in the, 20 minutes into playing Genshin with with a couple friends, with uh, Tycho and Cat, I believe it was. Uh, and just being like, hey guys, I don't feel so good. <laughs> And I think immediately they were both like, oh, no, we forgot to tell you to turn off motion blur. <laughs> I don't mind screen shake so much, but motion blur really. Ugh. 
It's the same effect as like reading in a car for me. Upon defeat, enemies have 3% chance to spawn a red heart. Okay, so it increases the chances a little bit. Spawn three solar shards that inherit 120% damage. Is this... Huh. I know what... I probably should go for the heart spawn level up, but this solar shard storm, I can't imagine exactly what it is. I won't try it. What are you? Ooh. Levels. Uh, maybe more attack speed. Ooh, self-mending. Okay, okay, okay. We might make it this time. We're, I think we're doing much better. Uh, We're at five and a half. Uh, yeah, we got five and a half minutes left. So that means we've already been... So we're at like the eight and a half minute mark. So yeah, we're good. Hmm. I think saving up for that is just going to take too long for me. Um, I regret playing Minecraft in VR. It made me motion sick. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. VR is really bad for motion sickness. It's, uh, it's tough. And I, I the problem I always have with, with uh, VR is, like, I don't play for just long enough that I start getting motion sick again. Like, I lose any immunity that I had, like, built up to it. Oh, my gosh. What are those lasers? Hello? But yeah, so it's just like every time I play, I am like kind of right back at the beginning of just being like, <laughs> I have to like adjust to it again, where I have to take like play for 20 minutes, take off my headset, go do something. I actually found out though that having a fan on while you play um, apparently like gives your brain like a sense of directionality in like the real world. It's uh, that made a huge difference. It didn't completely get rid of it, but like if you're somebody who plays VR and you get motion sick, Try turning a fan on, like just have it like pointed at you from one side. It's really like for me, at least like probably 80, like 80% 80 motion sickness reduction. Uh, do, do, do. Every three shots, shoot bullets in the opposite direction after a small delay. I don't really love that one. Um, Cause I feel like most of the enemies are kind of coming at me from one time once I've gathered them up anyway. I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm poo-pooing it a little too much, but. Maybe obtain a pickup, shoot a piercing projectile towards the nearest enemy. Maybe level up, launch a powerful bomb that deals. What I wonder is when you obtain a pickup, I'm like, is that just like an item? Or is that like when you pick up experience too that you, you shoot a projectile? I don't know what counts as a, a as a project or as a pickup exactly. Level up. But I feel like the level up ones, like level ups are starting to come so sparsely that like out of my space just doesn't really do a lot. And I could get level ups from planets still, I think. So there might not be any enemies around. So let's go with shooting pickups. Let's see. All of the enemies died, so I couldn't see if my, my getting the experience uh, was doing anything, but. I think the experience stuff you just pick up. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that. Must go now. Feel free to check out some of the game recommendations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for the uh, the recommendations. I'll, I'll have to check into the, uh, the 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 Ratchet and Clank one especially, and, and God of War is, is one I, I still want to look into too. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, uh, did you see that Hades 2 got nominated for Most Anticipated Game of the Game Awards? No, I didn't see that. I'm not surprised, but... I, uh, I I very much hope it. it I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to Hades 2, guys. I play one game. <laughs> that's just this. That's my game. I thought maybe I would do like a little. Uh, I got into speedrunning Hades for a little while. Um, so I was thinking like maybe before. Uh, before Hades 2 comes out again and everything, I, can, I I might try doing like just like a little speed run week or something. I don't know. I just love doing little like challenges kind of stuff, like a little like spend one week doing nothing but playing like one certain game or trying to do one certain thing or spend a month trying to do trying to learn something or whatever. I don't know. That kind of stuff I think is very fun. I want to do more of it in the future. Uh, both Ratchet and Clank and God of War have photo modes. I 
I don't know what a photo mode is, but I'm excited to find out. I'll look into it. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Wasn't sure if I should try Hades. I've seen you playing it, and now my friend's playing it. Hades is so, like, truly... Hades is a game that I feel like, in, for anybody other than somebody who does not like roguelikes, like, somebody who specifically just does not like that genre, I don't think that Hades is, like, so good that it's, like, a genre convincer. Like, if somebody doesn't like roguelikes, they probably won't like Hades. But it's done so well that I think outside of that, Hades is a game I could probably recommend to anybody. I would probably tell anybody that there is a good chance that they have a good, 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 a good chance at enjoying Hades. I specifically don't vibe with roguelikes, but I'll still play Hades. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. I'm glad even a uh, non-roguelike enjoyer can enjoy it. I don't, I, Ace, I don't play games. I play three, I play, I play like three games now. <laughs> I play Hades, a roguelike. I play Bellatro, which is basically poker, uh, but a roguelike. Uh, and then I play, what else do I even play? I play this, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so I don't. I don't know a lot about a lot of games. <laughs> I play Hades, Katamari Damacy, and Dead Cells. Oh my gosh. Katamari Damacy would be one to... That, that would be a fun one to go and give a shot. I could give it a shot. I need to try a new game, so I'll give it a try. Oh, well, the nice thing about Hades 2 is it's very accessible. There is literally a mode called God Mode where, like, if you just want to see the story, if you're not somebody who likes being on, like, the gamer struggle grind, um, the, it, I, I think I think Hades is a really good game uh, for that because it's, like, you can, you can make it as difficult as you want, but I think the base game is very approachable. And even for, like I said, for people who don't prefer game, like, like having difficult games are really struggling as much. This music goes pretty hard. Oh my God. <laughs> I kind of got surprised by that. Um, but yeah, I think like anybody who, who just wants to see the story can like can play it on god mode which essentially just sort of like still gives you the fun of learning the mechanics and you kind of get to learn how to play but you get through the story much quicker without having to grind so people who aren't into the grind or or are not as big a roguelike fan um i think god mode is 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 a really great addition to hades that was a very smart idea <laughs> Pickup rating is by 90% seems like a lot. Like, the stuff in this game scales really well. 4 HP every one second. I think healing-wise, it feels like we're okay, and I really want to... I really want to bump up this Solar Shard Storm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Yeah, let's go on the, the Solar Shard Storm. I don't know how well it's doing for us, but it's fun to look at. Let's see. I think I'll add Hades onto my list. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know. Let me know how you enjoy it if you give it a try. I always love hearing people's experience with Hades. But yeah, like like I said, I was thinking about maybe uh, maybe we'll do like a little super giant marathon week. Because I think I think Bastion is a pretty short game, I think. Transist I, I don't know about Transistor and Pyre. Um, but I've seen people finish like a Bastion playthrough in like one or two streams. Uh do, 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 do. But yeah, so so maybe we'll we'll do that one one day and then we'll switch over and uh hey we only have a minute left we're doing pretty good this round we might win this one um but yeah and so i i, I thought about like maybe doing that going through and playing super giants other offerings and then just doing like maybe a little little while of just uh speed runs and and seeing how those go and just having some fun with it because i started speed running rama 
which is like the the hidden aspect for the bow um which is not i don't think is a super common uh, um it, i think there's a pretty even split amongst how like all of the weapons get speed run except for like i think there's like certain like beowulf i know is like crazy powerful because there's a couple of bugs on it um and so I, I, I think that's like one of the most popular speedrun weapons. And of course, a couple of the rail aspects are, are always uh, very good. Um, but I really like Rama. I just love Rama. It's not the fastest weapon, but it's so fun. The play style of it is so fun for me. Didn't expect this game to have metalcore. Yeah, I didn't either. I didn't know what to expect, but it's pretty good. Like it's kind of, I'm not a big like metal person or anything necessarily, but I am, I'm kind of jamming. It's pretty good. It's pretty fun to listen to. Go moving speed, I guess. 20 seconds. We're almost there. We almost did it. I feel like anytime I'm playing a game, I'm just paused for half of it. And I think that I'm multitasking because I'm talking while I'm pausing and then I'm unpausing and then not talking and just playing. <laughs> Which really is not multitasking. Hey, we survived 15 minutes in Radiant Hope. All right. There we go. So what do we do? We get, do we get anything? Do we get any goodies? We got a new ship, I think. We got it increases your experience bonus. Steins Gate is the ability. Instant teleport. Uh. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't realize they all had like little different stats like this. Okay. Okay. So I'm in a black hole that pulls enemies and constantly damages them. Black hole lasts 8 seconds, deals 110% damage repeatedly. This one sounds pretty good too. They all do sound, like, they sound unique enough. I I, I feel like some, uh, again, another problem sometimes roguelikes have, like, the variety of stuff isn't isn't super hot, like, isn't as high as I, I, I think it should be. And, like, the, like, they're, you know, we kept seeing kind of some repeats of, of, I don't know what this game calls them. I forgot already. But, like, I'm going to call them Boons because I'm just a little Hades boy. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, the Boons, we definitely saw, like, some some repeats of some. But it's it, this is also, like, a demo early access game. So it's like that I don't fault for at all. And the stuff we were finding, it scaled well. It was fun to use and everything. So I really like this. It was fun. <laughs> Take that W. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stretch imposter check. Thank you very much, Nyx. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you. All right, Boba Sip. Speaking of roguelikes, Risk of Rain Returns just came out. Oh my gosh, I was watching somebody play that the other day. Um. Also, I want to, <laughs> I want to be clear. I feel like every time I say like, oh, I've watched somebody play that one time. I literally watch like one streamer who who plays like all these different games, um, who is like the streamer that I learned about Hades from. Um, pretty much any time I mention like any sort of like roguelike game or anything or or something like, uh, or or oh, I saw somebody play that. It was probably it was probably this one streamer. <laughs> I think I've mentioned it before. Halion is uh where I get a lot of my game wrecks and stuff from. Uh, that's where I learned about Bellatro, where I got sucked into that. Um, and I saw I saw him playing uh, Risk of Rain Returns the other day, uh, which seems a little Risk of Rain seems a little overwhelming. I know it has a big cult following. I think uh, they, it, it seems fun. I I don't know if I would ever necessarily try it myself, but I I, I think it does look like it does look like something I'd enjoy for sure. I think there's just other stuff that I kind of want to spend my time on is all. But like if I had the extra time, like I, I, I think Risk of Rain does look like a very enjoyable roguelike. I can see why it has the uh, the following that it does. Speaking of funny roguelikes, Snake Farm is a roguelike where you buy the enemy. <laughs> you buy the enemies. so You only have yourself to play. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was like there was another game that I saw but like that a while ago, I think, where like it, it, it was sort of like, I think there was some sort of dynamic where you were offered like, like, I, I guess like warriors or whatever that you could like recruit and buy to put on your, that, that, that ended up sort of being like your monsters. But then you also 
like any of the 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 like characters or warrior whatever you want to call them that that you didn't choose are the opponents that you then have to face so you sort of have to like think about like what's good against what and then it gets more complicated when you get into like who like what character types work well with other character types it was very interesting Increase your damage by per alien, defeated by 0.01%. Uh, healing bonus by 20%. Those are pretty good. I, I could jive with those. Yeah, I do want to play this some more, actually. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a nice, easy... I know I had to, like, stop and read a lot, but, like, it, for me, for somebody with my <laughs> lack of multitasking skill... I would say this is still a pretty nice game to just be able to play and talk with chat and, and kind of chill at the same time. <laughs> so I think we'll we'll maybe we'll maybe keep this on the uh, on the short list for future streams. I th every time I see those comments, I'm like, it's gonna smack me. This is gonna just gonna it's gonna just knock me right out of right out of the sky. I didn't realize they could do that. I was so offended when it hit me. <laughs> But, like I said, I think uh, we're not done with uh, stream, but I think we're going to finish up with this game for tonight, and then we're going to swap over to another game. So I think... Here we go. Here we go. We're back, we're back in the Astral Realm. Uh, this is also a game that I've seen more about, but I don't... I've never played it, so I don't, I don't know nothing about it. Well, I know a little bit about it, but... You know, the bare minimum. <laughs> I don't want to set any expectations, you know? <laughs> so this next game that we're going to be trying is called Death Must Die. And actually, just speaking of uh, Hades, I think if you're a, a Hades enjoyer who is kind of curious about like all these like survivor, survivor bullet heaven type games... I think you might like this one too, just based on what I've seen of it, specifically because they kind of have like the, they have like the gods that are, they got the kind of little sussy designs for and, and, um, not nothing crazy or anything, but, um, they definitely went the, the Hades route of having like some, some gods where you get, uh, you know, your, your skills and stuff from, and they're all, they're all, they're all lookers, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting this set up real quick. Uh, do, 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 display. Don't confine cursor. So, 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 give me just a second. I'm trying to make sure I don't like blast anybody's like eardrums out. Okay. So death must die. Game. Let's get some audio. Okay, we should be okay with the volume. Actually, a little quiet. So let's. Well, let's see how it gets when we when we get into game. But yeah, Death Must Die is a uh, a fun one that I've I've enjoyed watching. So I know a little bit about how it works, but uh, Marshmallow and Coco, uh, your name is so cute. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome to the coven, and I hope you I hope you get cozy. Hope you have a fun fun time hanging out with us tonight. Mwah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, it's a game about going to hell and murdering death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sort of the basic concept that, that I don't have much more than that. <laughs> so we've had have a nice death and now death must die. Have a nice death. They scaled back the difficulty later on, but they definitely, I think, kind of overshot for at least for my preferences uh, in have a nice death. Oh, my gosh. That game was so hard sometimes. There was another uh, uh, roguelike I got really into that I played called Revita, and that kind of had the same uh, issue for me, where it was very fun, and I really, really liked it. There was a lot of creative systems and stuff that were in the game, a lot of cool combos you could get. 
Um, and but it was just so hard. I beat the game once and then I was like, oh, wait, hold on. OK, R2 dash. I'll move. Wait, I didn't see everything. OK, that's just OK. So you can turn auto attack on. OK, so this is another game that pretty much you have control over your your movement, your attack direction, and that's it. And then you just sort of gather experience. There we go. But yeah, so it's got this kind of like, it's it's like a nice like, like pixel art stuff like this is, is stuff I really enjoy. Hey, you're the one time gave their hourglass to, huh? There is this uh, also is the volume okay uh, with this now? Let me let me know if it needs to be. The music I think is pretty subtle, even for me I can hear it, but it's just sort of like a, sort of more of a rumble, more ambiance than music. <laughs> Asterius Hades game, the furries were blessed. <laughs> uh, wait, uh, feeling super attacked right now. Wait, hold on. Feeling super attacked about. Oh goodness, Dust is trying to live their life and feeling super attacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, whatever it is you're doing here, I'm always the first to help mortals. So allow me to lend a hand. And it was kind of nice that this like indie game. I wasn't expecting it to have uh, uh, like voice acting or anything. And so it's it's fun that they 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 ended up having that. Uh, enemy starts attacking you. Chance to shoot out a fireball against your attacker. Uh, attack becomes stronger and apply burning. Sounds simple enough. We'll try that for uh, our first, our first, uh, they probably called him something else. I just always call it a boon. I know. <laughs> I just got a little Hades brain. So there is stuff that you can like go and explore, but I think I just want to gather a little experience first and get a couple level ups. So there's like, there, like shrines and stuff, that kind of thing. Like the yellow, the yellow marks on the map. Okay, we got some some range damage. Okay, R2 is the dash. Just want to get rid of these guys real quick. We'll get one more level oh, up and then I'm we'll summer, start the start heading the towards the uh, hot stuff. Fires, volcanoes, you know it. Uh da, 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 da. Yeah, the art's pretty good. It's it's a good game. It seems like a good game. Uh, a Hades brain rot for sure, absolutely. <laughs> uh, ever go to? Oh my, oh my, Twitch blurred out that I can only see it in OBS. Hold on, let me. Oh wait. Ever go to asterisk asterisk asterisk? That's I don't I don't know what that means. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay, so dash leaves a path of fire. Every few attacks, you breathe fire that damages and burns enemies in front of you. Um. Oh, this stuff scales pretty well too. Fourteen to twenty-nine percent is a pretty good damage boost. Um. It seems like we're killing everything right now, so I think we'll we'll diversify our blessings, is what they call them here. We gotta we gotta we gotta remember that. To, to try to scribe that into my brain. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a sorcerer. I'm not a wizard. I'm not made for memorization. <laughs> Put my 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 stats are in charisma. They're not in intelligence. <laughs> no, I think in actuality, my my IRL charisma score I think would be pretty low. So. I think I would actually be a pretty bad sorcerer IRL. I I don't my charisma too low. <laughs> I put I put all my stats in the wrong spots. <laughs> all right, so I think uh uh what's the damage thirteen twenty three? What's it? Uh, we don't really get a damage number on the fire dash. I don't think. I think Breath, Breath of Fire just kind of happens automatically, and I think right now I'm good with that. Just because I want to... Well, we'll keep it simple, you know? So we'll try and... Oh, right here. Okay, 60% experience! Alright, so I guess we're back to gathering experience now, I guess. 
Okay, we got a little, a little boss over here. What are you, what are you, why are you running? There we go. That was kind of a cool, the, the, uh, like I said, I know a little bit about the theme because I've kind of watched it. And I do like that there's, there's like armor and equipment that you can get and you can pick up between runs and each character has like specific armor they can equip and everything. Um, it's kind of cool. Like it's, it's, it's pretty robust. I can't remember if this is early access or 1.0 to be honest. I, I, it, it truly could be either way. I can't remember. <laughs> um, we'll just go trail of fire and we'll try and kind of max up on all of our, all of our fire stuff and then we'll start leveling it up. I do know that healing in this game is not the easiest. Ah, which means I would like to not get hit. Ooh, actually, like, this and just kind of guiding him through the fire is probably... Probably... Well, there's something... Oh, right here. Ah! Ah! Okay. There's no... No problem at all. Super confident. We know what we're doing. <laughs> Stop hitting me. Yeah, that was pretty good. I like that. Let's... I like games like that, like when they have like a little bit of charm to them, you know? I think sometimes like with um, games, like it's almost kind of, it depends on the game, of course, but like it's almost kind of fun when there is like a little bit of like, I don't want to say a lack of polish, but like it's it, a little, uh, there's a little more character to it, you know? You can see the fun that the game designers and, and the, the creators and stuff were having with making it and, and little stuff like that. I don't know. It's just fun to see. Spell damage is increased. Burning enemies leave a fire where they die. I'm just gonna go all we're gonna try and diversify first with lots of different lots of different blessings. I remember it this time. Does my own fire hurt me? I hope not. Uh <laughs> uh wait, how do I Okay, equipment. Okay, so uh we can I don't know what binds on equip means. So I guess we're just going to equip it and see what happens. <laughs> so we can either have some armor and some shard pull, which the shards I think is just like the experience shards. 17 armor plus one life plus 30 shard pull. I think right now I would probably, this one has more armor and it's got a lot of, I guess that's a lot of shard pull. So I think we'll, we'll go with that one. Buy on equip means you can't sell it. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. I keep walking by these shrines and not realizing what I'm doing. <laughs> Wait, is this this is this is like a shrine, right? There's like a, a little yellow dot on the map. Oh, I didn't mean to use both dashes. Ah! Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, I didn't you mean to use both dashes again. Uh, fire duration. Uh, that doesn't add much duration. If you attacks you, uh, sure, we'll upgrade breath of fire. I just I, isn't there. There's supposed to be something here, right? I don't, I'm not finding it. <laughs> I can't. I can't find it. <laughs> Been fun, but I must go to sleep. Good night. Oh, good night, Coltis. Thank you so much for stopping by. It was wonderful to have you here with us. <laughs> yeah, extra interact. I was trying. I was pressing X, but I wasn't wasn't getting anything. Okay, so. I know that now, I think four minutes in, it's slime time. Yeah, 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 slime time. Uh, my health is not high. That is a lot of slimes. Ah! Ah! Okay, 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 okay. I think the, the fire strats are, the fire strats are going well. My health is still very low, though. 
One time I forgot to send Twitter and uh, Twitch sales with three. Oh, no worries, curse. It's uh, we're on a we're on a schedule now. We're a professional streamer, so I got you. We're we're uh, what are we what are we streaming? I forgot. <laughs> I think I think it's Tuesday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. So I take a break on uh, is that, is that it? It's Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Because I'm off Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. And that's kind of the days I take care of my 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 school stuff. That's the days I got like D and D and all that. And it's nine nine p.m. Pacific time. Every day I'm streaming, so easy. All the uh, same same time every day. Your death shall be jiggly. Uh, your enemy. Whenever an enemy starts attacking you, chance to shoot a firebolt against your attacker. More blessings. I would love if I could find some health. That would be great for me. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, please. The, it's getting... Ah, when does it end? There, it's ended. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we have two health. We could do this. We could do this. Because we're obviously going to get health from here right now. 3% heals. Okay, so that's not exactly what we needed. But it's close. Ah, why are these guys so fast? Ah, I got got. <laughs> awesome, that sounds good. Glad to hear you released a new video. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm very excited about getting back on, on, on the grind. Get on that grind set. Rise and grind, you know? <laughs> that is exactly the opposite of what I like to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so honestly, I don't think I survived long enough for any of the DPS stuff to really <laughs> to, to to be consequential. So we'll we'll just go past it. I'm just gonna go on vibes right now. All right, I'm back. Stash unlocked. We got a stash. We got funky little guy our, over our here. Has brought you back. Chaos vibes for sure. Step into the water once more, hero. We cannot follow you, but soon others will come to your aid. Death will stand trial for his transgressions. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. What do we? What do we even pick up? We got magnetism. We got just a plain old breastplate. All right. So I think we'll transfer both of those. Let me see. What's around here? Oh, infinite dashes. I love this. Oh, I just... So there's nothing else right now. Oh, infinite dashes in the, like... This... The... the, the in the green room. It's so nice. I love that. That's such a good feature. <laughs> oh, I immediately forgot that I no longer have infinite dashes once I'm actually playing the game. I just held it down and then I stopped and I was like, Wait, why am I not dashing anymore? Ooh, plus three max life. All right. I think the the all the 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 good shrines they're down. That's what I heard. That's what we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just go down. We'll see what's what's what what the southern direction has for us. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I uh, was very excited to get that that video post yesterday. Like I said, I went into like a fugue state. Um, I like fully reset up my Chaos my. Uh, love this. Oh, if only they oh. could see it. Oh, there's a, so there is a chaos in this game too. All right. Uh, text to come strong and apply burning. Blue the path of fire. I did like the 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 path of fire. The dash. That did feel very helpful, especially with the uh, the, the the slimes. But yeah, like I fully went into like a fugue state. I like reset up my my uh, um uh the the audio editing software I, I use is called Reaper. So I like fully like went on like a binge of like setting up a bunch of hotkeys, like expediting my my um, process. I guess you could call it. That feels very uh, uh, bougie to say to be like, oh, I'm working on my process. <laughs> but I I did finally get that set up. I eventually want to make a video that's more about like. Make them feel the heat. Those of them that can anyway. 
Uh, was the fire god a uh, kitsune? Um, oh, actually, yeah, the tails. I didn't even notice that. I was, I guess, I was just like looking at the ear. I was, I would have assumed like ears for for kitsune, but I didn't notice the tails because they kind of blended in with the fire. I was looking in the wrong place. But yeah, I think I think maybe a, I think a summer might be a a, a fox. Uh, small question: How long did it take you to get one thousand subs on YouTube? Kind of random, but I'm curious for my own sake. Um, I actually can check that. I think I can check that for sure. Uh, in a little bit. Once we, once we, let's finish up with this, this, uh, this, this run. Um, and then I'll take a small break and I will check that for sure with you. So if you want to just remind me, uh, between runs, let me know. And I, I, I will actually check that for you. I don't think she's a Firefox best browser. <laughs> Agreed. Hard agree. I'm a, I'm a Firefox loyalist too. Um, but yeah, the, uh, uh, I, I would have to say if I had to just guess, maybe, maybe three, th three or four months, something like that. Maybe a thousand is, is. I would say like one, like one to five thousand is kind of where things start to pick up. I feel like you kind of have like a slow start, and then it sort of like, at least in my experience and what I've seen, I feel like channels tend to be kind of like the growth tends to be sort of exponential up till a certain point. You know, there is sort of a, a, a point where it does bottom out, but um, you know, it's it's kind of slow going, getting to to you know your first few hundreds and getting to a thousand but then like by then like the algorithm is, starts to kind of pick up more um and and help you out um it does i sort of hit a a gold mine that i was not aiming for to be to be clear though like because my my Elia video took off when i posted it and i think that was only like my third or fourth video mango welcome uh welcome to the coven thank you for the follow and i hope you enjoy uh just hanging out and getting cozy with us tonight thank you thank you Mwah. But yeah, I uh yeah, 120 in a, under a month is pretty good. Honestly, I think it's harder to grow now than it used to be. So it's it's kind of hard because my my experience is like four or five years old now at this point. So and like I said, I kind of like there's sort of different like patterns of growth that you see. Like um you know, for 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 some people they have like one video that like really like blows up and does well for them and I was and then other times you have people who just sort of get like a, a they get a little bit of subscribers at a time and it just sort of like slowly builds um I would say actually I think the second the the latter of those two tends to be better because you do kind of build a more communal audience who is sort of there for your style rather than being there for one particular character um and Ilya didn't like take off like crazy um like that Hero, for, for me hey new god death. for this i reward you with my powers now obey all right so what do we got here rotating blades spawn away from you rupturing and damaging enemies as they're pulled back to you Techs have a chance to create a chain that rotates around you for a limited time, damaging, rupturing, and knocking back enemies. Okay, I like knockback. Blaze pulls them back to you eventually, it seems. So I think chains of war. I think maybe. What does the extra info give you? Oh, just ruptured, affected, takes 30 damage every one range they move. Oh, that's kind of cool to, to base it on, like, how much they move is when they take damage. Okay, that's interesting. I like that. We'll take chains of war and try it out. Ooh, so fancy. Uh, but yeah, so I I sort of like hit a point where where Ilya definitely took off a lot more than like all of my other videos. But there is sort of just a natural like sense of of that you know that'll happen eventually, kind of uh, no matter what I think, where you know you'll eventually find what what sort of resonates both with you and with like an audience. Um, and that's because that's, I mean, really kind of the trick of it a lot of the time is sort of finding. Oh, gosh, I'm out of dash um, is kind of finding the, the balance of what people enjoy that you also enjoy making. 
it, I mean, it's totally it's it's totally a different thing if you're just posting and you don't care. If you're just making what you want to make and that's it, then by all means, like just do whatever you want. But I think there is sort of a point where you do have to. Some people get lucky, and what they like to make lines up exactly with what people like want to see from their channel. But other times, you sort of have to. I would say probably more commonly. Um, uh, does this up the chance? Just the damage. Okay. Uh, I guess Bloodlust, because I think that should make Chains of War proc more often. Because you're hitting more, so you're having more chances for that to proc. Yeah, so we'll, 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 we'll try it. And then that should, should give me, uh, more attack speed, so it should, should, should help. There should be a little synergy there. Um, but yeah, I think, like, like I said, there, there just is some degree, I think, where, um... Uh, yeah. where, like I said, you just sort of, sort of having to find that balance is, is important if you're somebody who wants to have a, a quote unquote, uh, you know, success means very different things to different people. It looks like different ways, but if you're wanting sort of the traditional, like sort of channel success, I guess, um, then I, I think there does have to be some degree of like, like if you're wanting to, to you know make videos or stream or whatever sort of like for a living you sort of have to find that that degree of like this is what i like to make and it might not be what i like to make best but it is what people like to see the most out of what i enjoy does that make sense i feel like that's kind of a lot of brain steps but <laughs> um just finding that balance i think is really important for being somebody who wants to create stuff and still and make a living off of it or anything, you know? I'm doing just one character for now, but I want to think of uh, and do more, but I got, like, no creativity character-wise. Yeah, I mean, like, it's it's kind of hard, because eventually, I feel like you sort of, like, have to come up with a process for how you create characters, like, um, which can be kind of a struggle all on its own of, of figuring out the figuring out. <laughs> um, uh, I, I would love some movement speed, to be honest. Um, like for me, I've realized like what kind of works for me process wise is just like starting from a concept, like in, in the world of being like, okay, like for, for Blight, like, you know, of course I love Kitsune. So there was always, there was no chance I was not ever making a Kitsune character, but uh, assuming that wasn't something I was like going in being like, oh yeah, I want to make a Kitsune. Like sort of wh where things started with him too was... Um, I really like, okay, uh, uh, <laughs> days since Raven Cycle reference, we can reset that back to zero. <laughs> um, but, like, I knew, like, from that, like, I really like that, like, aesthetic of, like, cursed forests, magic forests. And so I knew I wanted, like, a space with a character that lived in a cursed or magic forest. And I was like, okay, so what does this curse look like? What does this magic look like? What is the kind of character that would or could exist in this sort of place and that's sort of where Blythe uh came from with with his origin was sort of like okay so I want this sort of dark spooky magic forest but um I also want um like I I don't want a character that is like a scary character necessarily uh and so I kind of had to figure out like Okay, so maybe this character is still in this dark, spooky forest because they were, like, the guardian of it before it became dark and spooky. Maybe there was, like... And, you know, that's kind of how his whole thing with, you know, Blythe's shrine is he he had this... Shr like, he was this forest god uh, who was, you know, revered and all. Um, oh, my gosh. Slimes! There's so many! Um, but, yeah, and so that was sort of, like, how I ended up starting to, to work on him and then you know you kind of have to figure out like personality and all of that but I feel like for me that's that, like that's what works for me I'm not not necessarily saying for, for everybody but you've been enlisting but... a lot of help from the others haven't you I bet he wouldn't expect his own tools against him though mind if I join the call is coming from inside the house <laughs> but yeah so like that that's just sort of like sort of my 
process of, of thinking of characters, I guess, is sort of, I tend to think of a place in the world or, um, like, I start with a concept that isn't necessarily, like, a personality, and then I build from that. So I kind of get, like, with all my characters... Yeah, I'm Mort, Death's oh. daughter. Sorry, but I'd talking. really like to see him defeated, nonetheless. Personal reasons. Um, but yeah, so I think for, for that, it's just, like... I kind of get a two for one a little bit with my character creation. I, I inherently kind of bring my world building into character pre creation. So, <laughs> Maz Maz, hello, hello. How you doing? Attacks become stronger and resolve curse statuses immediately. Sickles of Mort. Every few attack hits shoot out sickles. They deal damage equal to a percentage of your attack damage. And apply your attack statuses. Ah. Uh. Okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to brain. <laughs> I think that one sounds good though. We got we kind of got a little got a little combo with uh, our our uh, whip or whatever this is that I'm I'm shooting out. So we're good. There's so many slimes in such a small space. Okay, okay. Slimes done. Slimes defeated. Hmm. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be back. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to finally sort of get, get into a space where I'm uh, 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 making making things regularly and everything again. Ah! Uh, attack becomes stronger. Knock back enemies. Rotating blades spawn away from you. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna like this, like, thing of enemies being pulled back towards me, but I could be wrong. Maybe it'll be nice for, like, bringing them into the radius of, like, the whip, or... Oh god, I thought the... the... <laughs> I keep thinking my own weapons are, like, enemy weapons, though. <laughs> Can't remember which are mine and which aren't. Power. Ah! Okay, healing, please. Cobalt. Uh, me starts ranting about gold mining as he sees you. 30% more. Yeah, I mean, no downside. I'll take more gold. <laughs> yeah, I mean, eventually I do. Like, I would love to get to a point where I'm sort of like making uh um i really want to make mart i love mart i love stickers and i love I, I, I love all that stuff and so i want to get to a point where i'm like making that kind of thing eventually too for for oh i'm cursed but i found an item D very D, &D core <laughs> um oh i think this is a heal <gasps> yes oh maybe not oh it's healing me a little bit is it maybe like healing me per kill or something? Ah, uh, please heal me more. <laughs> oh, who are you? But Aaron's right and left hand. Oh, they took me out. Oh, I got to take it out right away. <laughs> oh. Uh, again, DPS, I think it's just, it's not. I haven't gotten far enough for it to be really meaningful. I don't think. <laughs> All right. Ooh, we got a new character though. But yeah, I really want to make like some stickers. I really would love to try. I think especially I want to make little peekers because I have a couple peekers on my car, which are like the little, you know, the little stickers of um, like window decals of characters like, um, uh, just that you put on like your 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 cars like back window and stuff uh, and I like I said I sorry I'm like repeating myself because I can't multitask <laughs> I'm working on it guys I promise um, but yeah I think peekers are really cute like they're one of my favorite little pieces of merch I just love sticking them on my car and having a little weeb mobile <laughs> so I, I think that's that's what I want to do big grand one day idea is making a, uh, a tarot deck with all of my characters but 
need to uh that's 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 a little while off because that's that's a lot of art to commission <laughs> Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, uh, curse, yeah. It's Blythe is technically with a Y, but it's no big. <laughs> You're good. You can you spell it however you want. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> uh, if, you ever, if I ever release merch of Avi, immediately buying the entire side. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. I had one one piece of merch that I was gonna release for for Finn at one point. Um, I sort of had like the the. Uh, illustration and stuff done for but it just it it wasn't I want my first when I do start like making merch like you know it doesn't need to be the most grand thing ever but um, I wanted to be like something kind of special and it just didn't didn't quite fit what I wanted that's all but eventually one day I think it would be so fun if I was ever like I think this is like definitely a little bit of a pipe dream but definitely if I was ever able to like do a uh, like table at a convention and just sell like prints and stickers of my characters and everything like um, of course that would have to be something working out with the artists because that's not like you know obviously like you would have to buy the commercial rights and everything for, for all your stuff but I think that would be a lot of fun just going to a con and getting to, to, to say hello to people and having, having some merch and I've thought about like the uh, uh do you guys remember like the object head trend i think it used to be bigger than it is but it's still definitely around where people have like the uh, like computers or tvs like the old like uh, um uh like crt big big chunky boy monitors and they would put something in the screen or something um and have like have it kind of like decked out and they would paint it and stuff and and uh, I want to do that and have like a screen attached to the the front of the monitor and just have it being like my my uh, my model, just like looking around and checking things out and stuff. Uh, I think that would be really fun to sort of uh, cosplay as myself a little bit. I guess <laughs> it's kind of a funny way to put it, but. Yeah, and then I can, but, but I just think that would be really fun for a being identifiable at a oh well, I took a hit already. Uh, but yeah, I think that would be really fun for like being Can identifiable at a con. Side? They're more efficient anyway. Um, but still be able to uh, retain retain some privacy, you know. Ah, uh, do 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 do. Whenever you kill an enemy, chance it spawns a weak experience shard. Curse. Attack hits have a chance to spawn phantoms. Ooh, any enemies they pass through become cursed. Lose a percentage of their current life. That sounds fun. I like I like her abilities. They sound they sound fun. Ooh, there's a little like ghostly sound effect. This studio knew what the gamers were looking for. Gremlin Root House. That's, that's what I call my apartment. The Gremlin Root House. What is this saying? The small house looks very cozy. A little gremlin inside invites you in, but you don't think you'll fit. And you're a bit busy at the moment. Okay, heal. Gain attack. Gain... Oh, it's, for, uh, it's a temporary thing, though. 3% dash cooldown. 13 life. Gain plus 13 max life. I think probably the max life. Just because healing is so hard to find in this game. Cheese and uh, eat an entire wheel of cheese. Just, just, just munching. Just take a little break. I'm not here to fight. I'm here to eat cheese. You, you call that a ranged attack, buddy? I'll show you a ranged attack. Ooh, luck. I feel like I'm already not doing as well. <laughs> a meteor fall from the sky, damaging ground, burning the enemy as your attacks become stronger. I kind of want to save like my attack stuff for for Mort because like there's something to do with like the curse statuses that that she resolves with her attacks. 
Um, I don't know. I, uh, we, we, we've, we've done some fire now. Gremlin Salem is Gremlin. <laughs> it is fun to say. I do enjoy that. I still thought I was going to just like power through this tea and I'm still on my boba. I haven't even made it to my hot tea, which is now entirely tepid. <laughs> <laughs> when an enemy starts attacking you there's a chance to okay I like that this is when an enemy starts attacking you instead of when an enemy hits you I think that's really nice because it's sort of like what I was talking about with the last game where I feel like effects that are on hit sort of they feel like they're they kind of feel like bandages to me where like I said, I think if you're in a situation that's bad enough where you're getting hit enough to proc things like that that trigger when you get hit and those are doing a lot of damage, it sort of already feels like you're in a precarious place. Whereas this, because it's like when, an, I, as far as I understand, when an enemy starts attacking you, they don't necessarily have to hit and it's just sort of an ability that goes off, which I, 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 I like that. I like stuff I don't have to think about too much. <laughs> <laughs> Getting surrounded here. I'm trying to pick up some of the experience. Oh no. It's hard because I'm trying to pick up experience, but it's every, all the enemies are kind of coming from the direction from that I'm not going in. <laughs> ah! Got stuck. Okay, 100% damage right now. I will for sure take that. That is great. Ah! Uh, when an enemy starts attacking you... Okay, it ups the damage, not the chance, but... When you kill a number of burning enemies, an explosion damages knocks. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Okay, I'm not really burning enemies though. So. Let's level up that one, I guess. Equipment. Ah, don't die. Now isn't this hey, we got the fate. You are so intertwined with time itself that it's really hard to get a read on your fate, hero. Will you fail? Or succeed. Or maybe it'll be one of the others. What do you mean one of the others? Oh, like one of the other characters? I thought they meant something like, will you do something other than fail or succeed? And I'm like, what's the other option? <laughs> uh, stretch and posture check. Amy, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Mwah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. And we are uncrunched. Much appreciated. Oh, I didn't sorry. need that. They haven't arrived for you yet. Be a shame to see you fail. Perhaps we could fudge the numbers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just change the grades a little bit. Just add like a zero at the end to my to my score. Uh, attacks hit a wider area. Deal three hundred percent damage. Five percent crit chance is pretty good for three hundred percent damage. I think. I guess. Ooh, attack shoots more projectiles is nice though. Ooh, I kind of want that one. Would love critical strike later, but for now, I think more projectiles feels like I really need. <laughs> I need because I need more guaranteed damage that I can do consistently. Health. Thank you. It's so generous game. And boy, size, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Hope you're having a good night. Oh, welcome to the coven. Mwah. Thank you, thank you. Hope you hope you get cozy. Hope you enjoy a uh, a nice cozy night here with us. Okay, so the curse is doing something to the enemies. I don't know what exactly, but it is doing something. Taking more damage than I would love to be taking in this in this moment. 
Okay, we got boss. Chill out. What do you mean chill out? You started, you came here. You came into my house. Well, I guess I did come into the underworld, so. Ooh, new goddess. The heart stopping bite of frost. The captivating embrace of cold. I am winter and I've come to enchant this bitter place with my beauty. I keep, every time I'm, I, I, I know I shouldn't, but I'm just a little Hades guy. And I just, every time like I see this, I'm like, oh, it's Demeter. <laughs> Which I actually, I don't, is it, is it pronounced Demeter, Demeter or Demeter? I think, I, I, I don't know. I, Cause I feel like if I had to guess what I thought it was in like Greek mythology, I think Demeter sounds more correct, but Demeter, I think is the way they say it in Hades. And I think like, I think Demeter sounds nicer, but Demeter sounds correct. And I don't know which way it is. <laughs> Adjust the grade curve, if you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need, I need some help. <laughs> I need a strong curve. Uh, the HP that goes green on their bar gets taken by the curse in a bit of time when it pops. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to, uh, uh, look at the description on it and get a better idea of how to use it. Uh, I actually don't even remember what exactly I have that's providing the curse, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> totally not a Hades ripoff. No, I mean, like, I think you, I think it's fair to say there's definitely some inspiration here, but it's a, it's, it's, I think it feels... Yeah, I think it feels different enough. Like the combat style and stuff is totally different from Hades. So it's like, but the, like, of course, like I think, you know, anything with gods giving you blessings, of course, there's definitely a, a little bit of a parallel. Um, it sort of feels like if Hades was maybe made into a survivor-like game or bullet heaven, well, again, whatever, whatever people want to call this, this genre. Um, yeah, I think that's a good way. To, uh, that feels like a good way to describe this game. It's like Hades if it was a different genre. Uh, your attack shoots more projectiles that apply chilled. Ooh, upping the projectile count by two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like that. Minus range, minus velocity, but I feel like I'm having to kind of get close to sort of like, um, like shotgun the uh, the projectiles anyway. So effect is slow by 10% if chilled sec reaches 7 remove all sec of chilled and apply frozen if this status expires the effect can't be chilled or frozen okay okay that makes sense I like that sure ooh that's the damage that I was looking for that's what we're going for that's the spicy meatball baby <laughs> what exactly is a, uh, a bullet heaven? So bullet heaven, I think, is sort of like defined as um, like these games where. Oh, I don't have anything on my dash, though, and that would be that has been proven to be very important for these slimes. Oh, get all the experience I can, try and get any boons I can. <laughs> ah! Um, but yeah, it's sort of these games where you you only really have like control over. Um, ah, I'm stuck. I hope my dash is coming back because otherwise I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I think Bullet Heavens are like these games where you get like these like mobs of enemies and there's a lot of like. Um, it's pretty much just so sort of an, like this one. You can aim your attack, but like a lot of these games are like auto attacker. Um, you just sort of have control over the direction you're going the things you pick up and like the choices, but the actual combat is not necessarily like highly strategic kind of thing. Um, yeah, like stuff like vampire survivors, like 20 minutes till dawn. Um, what else? Brotato. There's a, a lot of, a lot of games like that where you're sort of in an arena where you're just running around you know, casting spells or swinging your sword and it's just sort of like an auto battler to, in, to some degree whenever you kill an enemy there's a chance it spawns a uh, I, can I see my blessings real quick actually because I don't know what's giving me curse right now <laughs> any enemies they pass through become cursed and lose a per oh okay 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 so curse effect it takes 66 damage after one point okay so it's kind of, cursed is kind of doom from Hades for my <laughs> little Hades brain <laughs> okay so 
Um, do, 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 do. Every few attacks, shoot out sickles. They deal damage equal to percentage of your attack damage. And apply your attack statuses. I don't think we have an attack status right now, do we? Oh, uh, we have chilled. I think that counts. Yeah, because that's, that's my attack. I wonder if you can get multiple. Like, can you get, like, multiple attack ble blessings? Not boons, but blessings, rather. <laughs> that, that stack from, like, other gods? I'm curious about that. I don't know. Um. I guess execution. I would love to have, like, a way to make more enemies cursed. Ooh, 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 okay, something's working. I don't know exactly what, but... <laughs> ah! Okay, I was so close to death there. I had no dashes and they were like right on me. If there was like some way to get extra dashes in this game, that feels like it would be incredibly powerful. Hey, okay, 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 okay. Uh, your dash drains enemies, healing you if you are below a certain life threshold. I'm really already leaning towards that. Whenever you kill an enemy, there's a chance you might... Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we have a healing. Oh, I didn't see exactly how long the, uh... The, the or how, how low health I could be for it, but... But right now I'm I'm getting oh there's what are you? Okay, I think I might be at the point. Oh no, I'm still still healing, I think. Ah! I was out of dashes. Okay, so I think I need to just kind of a little bit <laughs> and <laughs> recoup. Ah, no, don't hit me. I'm recouping. We didn't introduce ourselves last time. Where the fate, Chloe, the sleeping one, spins the strings of life. Right there with you, Chloe. I get it. I feel you. The scissors when the time comes. <laughs> oh, I just realized. I'm so sorry. I don't think I, I don't think I said anything about this before. But Wolf Connor, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the coven. I'm glad to have you here with us. I hope you enjoy hanging out. Mwah. Thank you, thank you. I have the most fun job. It does get tiring to see them all go, though. Always, forever, and ever. But maybe you'll put an end to that. Who knows? All right. My boba is finally finished three hours later. <laughs> we got there. Mm -hmm -hmm. Attack, shoot more projectiles. Hmm. It doesn't show... I'm, I mean, I'm, I would assume that gives me more projectiles. But it doesn't say, like, plus one or anything, so I don't know. <laughs> Crazy Dave, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Much appreciate it. Mwah. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate the support. Um, attack faster or chance to deal 300% damage. I think now we'll go for for the crit strike. Ah, please don't kill me. Please, I just got this crit. I just got this critical. I want to use it. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, I don't have any equipment on with this character yet, do I? Where's the... Okay, here we go. Okay, so... Two armor plus nine life. I'll take it. I don't have anything else to put there anyway, so... Because I think these are... Yeah, these are... can't. This character can't wear them, so... Get a little life. A little armor. A little more armor, some spell damage, some shard pull area. 
don't know how much of a difference these will make, but it's something I didn't have before, so I will take it. <laughs> okay, I haven't gotten much more lately, I don't think. I, w I would love to see more like the, 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 um, curse stuff, I think. Very few attacks, a frost ring spawns from you that freezes. Your attack shoots more projectiles that apply chill. Your spell area is increased. I think frost ring sounds nice. Okay, these are what killed me last time. So I just need to make sure I have a de Oh, this frost is so helpful with these, these two. That is so incredibly helpful in slowing them down. The, the way that... The, truly how close that was to hitting me is insane. Oh, I just used both my dashes. That's bad. Oh, dang. You have to be really careful with your dashes in this game. It would be very judicious. Hmm. That was pretty good, though. Seven and a half minutes. Second run. Um, uh, no, third run. First run with this character, though. All right, let's see. What else we got? We got a little... We got any cutscenes or... or does the campfire unlocked? Okay. Shop unlocked. Still nothing... Nothing there. Oh, those unlimited dashes are so nice. I love it. I think... Uh, how we do... What do we got in the shop? You think I can... Think I can wear? Something of a... Yeah, I'm something of a god myself. Uh, let's see. What do we got? We got anything I could use? Okay, we have a staff. We have a, a ring. For more adept offers. Okay. We'll get both. I need, I need equipment there anyway, so... That works for me. What's the campfire? Oh, change character? Wait, how do you... Okay. I think I want to... You know... We're just... We're a little... We've got some magic vibes around here. We'll take the sorceress out for one more... One more uh, run. I think this will probably be our last one for the night because I do have some... I have, have some meetings uh, tomorrow morning, unfortunately. Uh, i got some stuff i got to do. I actually probably should not... should not still be awake right now, but... Here we are. I can't tell, so I think some of the shrines give you like permanent stats and then I think others give you like temporary stats because I noticed for a lot of them like you'll you'll see an effect um, that like shows up above your head or you get like a little symbol or something for what feels like like temporary the stuff. The does not listen to the harvest. I'm not sure. So maybe it's high time he started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not above the law. Who does he think he is? All right. Uh, raise skeletons whenever you kill a number of enemies. Skeletons raised from cursed enemies last longer. Okay, your attacks have a chance to... Okay, we did that one. Soul Sealers didn't feel great. I think even though we don't have a way of applying curse right now, the projectile count and the pierce, I think, are huge. I think those are big. Uh, Eep time. Oh, Maz, I hope you I hope you rest well. Please uh, get some get some good shut eye. I will try and do my best to send you some good dreams. <laughs> I don't know if this is the strategy <laughs> to start with, but I feel like just kind of like grinding some experience and not getting hit please uh at the beginning is kind of helpful because i think there are magnets to like gather the experience in this game but they're not very common i don't think they're like oh i keep like i was, can't seem to aim very well for some reason <laughs> me after his throne no so if he could just take yeah, a yeah, 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 Thank you so much. Thing to you. That'd be great. Yes, that base got the 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 death daddy issues. 
uh, whenever you get a chance, can you see the divine man? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, probably check uh, Twitter and get back to uh, to the responses and stuff. Uh, probably not tonight, but uh, probably sometime tomorrow. So I'll probably we'll probably see it then, assuming that's this where it is. <laughs> Okay, that lifelink really felt like it kept me alive for a long time. I think especially if I could like level that up, I think that would be huge. Although again, I didn't see what the threshold was for it. Okay, so... Okay, so if I'm below 25%, then it'll get me some... some... <laughs> Suddenly got a lisp for some reason. <laughs> but then it'll then it'll give me some life steal. This has to be kind of kind of low. It is funny that because like the the there are certain like things that I've done to like the way that I talk and, and the way that I like to sound stuff for my my ASMR and then just like for like like non-binary like gender affirmation voice comes, uh, kind of training I guess. Eyes. How can the living appreciate my beauty with his scythe above them? Ooh, her voice is nice. I like it. Um. But yeah, there is sort of this, this sort of like, it's it's not a lisp, but it's like, there's definitely a way that I like aspirate my S's a little different than I used to, that I kind of train myself into. They're almost more like whistly. Uh, and, and I do find that sometimes it, it's, it, it really sh like shoulders right up against like sounding like I have a lisp sometime, <laughs> which I don't mind. I think there, there's a couple of uh, VTubers that I watch that have, um, they have such a they have like I know like people that have them are generally very self-conscious about them uh mostly because I had a I actually I can't I, honestly I can't remember what it was because I was so young but I I did have like a uh uh both my actually both my sister and I did have um like speech impediment sort of things not like really bad but we we did have to go to like speech therapy when we were younger um and uh so you know of course like anybody that like has something like that you know that that sort of is the the you know i guess you would traditionally go to speech therapy for or whatever is you know kind of probably generally i don't know i feel like it's generally probably not like somebody's like favorite thing like but i don't know i think i think people i think like when people have like a lisp i think it sounds really cute i think it's a very adorable thing <laughs> Uh, you leave Trail of Frost, wherever you go that chills enemies. Frost zones spawn at random. Every few attacks, Frost Ring. I didn't really get to see the Frost Ring, so I think maybe we'll try that again. Every nine attacks. That is kind of a lot of attacks, but... Can I put on those sandals? I can put on those sandals. Movement speed, I love that. Okay, so it just like instant freezes them. That's nice. Okay, we got a boss. Not doing the most damage in the world. Ooh, he's frozen though. Lagong, God of Lightning, at your service. We got a spicy boy. We got a spicy lightning boy. All right. Strange. This opening usually shocks mortals at least a little. Some beat me to it, right? Unbefitting of a god to be unpunctual, especially one such as myself. Never mind, that's quite like me, actually. No one can predict a lightning bolt. I have a weird thing where people will, I all can't tell I'm gay through my voice, but apparently online it's very obvious, like even though multiple t uh, microphones, people say I sound <laughs> Got that, got, got those uh, strong gay doors out, huh? <laughs> I think. For me, I think if I was talking sort of in my my, um, I, I think I've I, I've generally been pretty open about this. I think, but I like I definitely like I, I had to make the voice that like like this. I don't you know this isn't what necessarily naturally comes out of my mouth hole. <laughs> um, it's definitely sort of a a trained voice. Um, but it's at, like I, I I do it so much and I just really prefer sounding like this so much that it just sort of comes out naturally. But like if I'm around family or something, I definitely like go back to sort of my, I guess, like my quote unquote, like natural way of speaking. 
Um, which is, uh, I think, I mean, of course, like, you know, this is just talking in traditional, like, stereotypes. This isn't, like, a good thing necessarily to, to, uh, like, assign. But I think just, like, traditionally, based on stereotypes, what people hear and everything, um, I think my natural voice is kind of hard to, to pick up on, like, gaydar wise i don't i don't naturally sound uh super fruity but i prefer sounding super fruity this is by choice <laughs> so my natural voice just doesn't have much fluctuation it's definitely a little it's a little like throatier it's a little i don't know it's okay i've come to i've come to live with it i'm all i'm all right with it i just prefer this mm-hmm <laughs> Uh, lightning worms spawn on the battlefield that explode after a limited duration. Attacks have a chance to cause chain lightning. Hmm, let's try chain lightning. Maybe it's my maybe it's that my customer service voice is different. Yeah, <laughs> customer. It's so funny because I, I, that's actually I think kind of where this voice started from. That was like the seed of it. Was my customer service voice that I used to when I used to have a I used to have a job. I was a productive member of society. <laughs> it was kind of where this started, where I realized I could sort of bring up the like pitch and the resonance of my voice, just because I did it naturally on the phone, like talking to customers, like you know the whole like, "Hi, thank you for calling my workplace. How can I help you? What can I help you out with today?" Oh yeah, of course, I can totally help you with that. You know, like that kind of thing where you just sort of go up to sound nicer. <laughs> this is like more friendly, I guess. Um. Which is something I definitely intentionally had to do because uh, my my uh, plain voice again. Like it doesn't sound. I don't. I don't think I sound like. I don't like have the like resting bitch face equivalent of of a voice. But it's not necessary. I just don't necessarily have the most warm natural voice. I suppose. Oh, what am I doing? I should be going into these places stone of power ah i got stuck yeah like this like sometimes like you see like you get these like icons above your head from these and i think the ones that you don't just give you like permanent stat upgrades but i could be wrong um ooh immobilized enemies take more damage sounds really good with frost ring i think maybe yeah we'll go with that and then we'll try and level up the the ice ring later I have to talk to real people in the community of right next feel like I've essentially put on more straight voice for them. Ah, that's very possible. Sort of the uh you know, the whole code switching kind of thing, I guess. That's what what I think is what that would probably be called. Customer service voice always has the undertone of a parent disappointed by their child who <laughs> Yeah, 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 it kinda does. Oh my gosh, I keep getting hit. Cause I'm trying to be chat. And <laughs> having too much fun chatting with you guys okay boom <laughs> can't play the game <laughs> why are there no shrines hello okay there's a couple we'll go up here first oh we're gonna hit that four minute mark with the uh, slime soon too i think let's see if we can get down to this other uh shrine fast enough yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Ooh. Become stunned for 1.5 seconds, gain 24% spell duration. Lose 9 life, gain spell damage. Ooh. I think we were in a spot where we were okay for spell duration. I don't really want to lose life. It's just so hard to get it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we got, the, we got through the stun. No problemo. Oh dang, I just used both my dashes again. It's just so easy to like accidentally like double tap it. I do feel much more comfortable knowing I have the uh <laughs> the way of recovering a little bit of life at low health though. Ah. Uh, okay, 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 got too confident. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, damage per second. I think I have to do this. I'm dead if I don't level up lifelink. Okay, 
Okay, okay. No! Oh my gosh, we got down to like one health there, I think. Okay, I think we're, we're almost through them. We're close. Ah! No! Oh. Death got me. I must die, apparently. <laughs> I just said a paint. Uh, paint desk clothing, mix and paint for people, try to sound as happy as I can. I find mixing paint fun. It's like the world's most boring alchemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think paint mixing, like, I think, I don't know, there's some jobs like that where it's like, it's, yes, it's probably a monotonous job, but I think it could be fun still. Like, there's still, I don't know, there's just things like that. I, I feel like it just it kind of wouldn't get old to some degree, but maybe that's just my perspective as somebody who doesn't do that all day long every day. But it's just, it feels like it would be fun just seeing all the, everything get all mixed up. <laughs> uh, oh, one case. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Curse. Yeah, I was supposed to do that a while back. Thank you so much for reminding me. I appreciate it. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so let me, I think we'll finish up with the, uh, with Death Must Die for now. We'll maybe play a little bit more, uh, more of this later tonight because I was having, a I was having a lot of fun with these. Okay, so what can we... We'll just kind of finish up uh, uh, doing a little shopping in here real quick, and then once I close the game, I will check on that that uh, 1k subs uh, timeline. Um... Okay, so this technically... So this gets me more adept offers. Not a lot, but I think if there is a better one here... I can afford it. It's super cheap, so... Uh, and then we don't have anything on our torso, so we will throw that on. Uh, we'll maybe just sell that for all two gold here. And... Anything... Anything new? Anything out here? entrance where I came from. Ooh, a sparkle. Let's gaze. Okay, we gazed. Anything to gaze at over here? Oh, okay, I probably didn't go, go far enough. Oh, got stuck. A little like text emoji in the speech is very funny. <laughs> okay, so I think I think that should be everything then. Yee, so I think we will call it here on Death Must Die. There we go. It's very fun, though. I really like that. And then we will head over back to my main screen so we're no longer astral projecting. I will see you there. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. All right. So now we're, we're, we're way back here. We're, we're way gone. Okay. And I got to get rid of some of my, my lighting. So I'm still... So glowy, there we go. We've gone bright mode. All right, so let me, yeah, let me check and see, Curse, on that, uh, 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 if I can see how long it took me to get to 1,000 subscribers from my analytics. I should be able to see that. Um,. So let me see when my first, when did I post my first video? It actually might be sometime around now. I, I think my, I think I started around, um, September or November, I think was when I had first started making videos. Uh, my <laughs> intro video on my YouTube page always jump scares me whenever I come here. Uh, 
Yeah, so my first video... Was five years ago, November 25th, 2017. So we're actually... We're only about two weeks out from my... Less than two weeks out from my... Uh, my sixth year ASMR anniversary, and I have like 17 videos. <laughs> I'm so slow compared to so many other people. He's okay. Uh, Need, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome to the coven, and I hope you enjoy a cozy time here with us. We're just kind of wrapping things up for tonight, but I uh, hope, hope, hope you, you hope you're relaxed and comfy regardless. Mm -hmm. Hey, hello. Hey, how you doing? You're actually awake for one of my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it worked out for once. Time zones, time zones be difficult. I get it. <laughs> but it's good to see you. <laughs> uh, what's up, bros and bro Hey, you know, we're just, we're just living. We're just vibing. All it took was a time zone change up here, which is so funny because you got further away. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so yeah, first video was November 25th, 2017. So I'll have to see if maybe we could do something for, uh, maybe we'll do like a, a, a now that, now that, uh, Twitch has like lifted the, 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 the ban on multi-streaming. Maybe we'll do like a, a little ASMR stream or something and, and multi-stream to my, my YouTube at the same time. My streams look very different from how they used to on YouTube. Uh, so that'll be a fun a fun surprise to everybody who who was used to uh to come in, in, in chat over there and be like, hey, I'm different now. <laughs> oh, Okay. The eyes are a moon and a star. Indeed they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love funky eyes. They're my fate. Okay, so... Okay, so this is telling me... My... Overall... My, my subscribers per day, but I want to know my... the amount of su subscribers that I had at a certain point. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Character has white pupils, blue square. Yeah, 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 yeah. Funky eyes like that. I just, any kind of funky eyes. Oh, chef's kiss. So good. Italian hands. <laughs> still remember the days of PNG Salem? I mean, there was a time that was even still on Twitch. I mean, before, like, because I, I did some streams on YouTube that um, I think that's where you can really tell, like, the development of my own, like, me getting comfortable with, like, a new voice and voice training and stuff. Because, like, I think my voice on my YouTube streams used to be much more casual. It was more relaxed, I guess, in a way. Um and and I think like going back every time like I listen to my myself in one of my old streams I'm like oh jump scare <laughs> hmm. <laughs> ah okay here we go I think I found it. Okay, so like I said, I started in November 25th of 2017. Oh, it took me it took me quite a bit longer actually. I didn't realize this. No, actually this is about what I thought it was, I think. No, this is a little longer than I estimated. So, I hit 1000 subscribers around uh middle of June of 2018. So, my first video was kind of like start of December, essentially. So December, January, February, March, April, May, June. So roughly, roughly about six to seven months is where I hit a thousand subscribers. Um, but like 
you can really tell like there's there's definitely a lot more growth when I'm actually posting. So there's definitely my 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 growth chart probably looks a little weird compared to most people who have any sense of consistency because <laughs> I have these sort of like leaps um, where I, I suddenly like start gaining and then it just sort of like levels off for six months because I don't post anything. <laughs> yeah, so for me, hitting 1K was about six months and then literally like but like i said it kind of once you hit that 1k it's like it kind of starts snowballing cuz according to my stats i hit i hit 1000 middle of june and i hit 2000 um within a month after that by by july 14th which is exactly 1 month after i hit 1000 I was almost at 3000. So, like I said, it's 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 like it's really just pushing to get past that that first threshold. Um and then, you know, once things start snowballing, once you've sort of found like a niche um and and like an audience and you kind of know what they're looking for and you know kind of the the style you want to create. Um I I will say for uh, again, this was so long ago, it could be very a, a very different landscape because um, like I said, at, at the time, YouTube was very, like, Sundere, Yandere, dark, like, vampire, um, well, they do lock you in their basement, throw away the key kind of ASMR <laughs> role plays. Um, and I, I wanted more comfort audios. I wanted Monster Boys, but I wanted soft Monster Boys and sweet Monster Boys. And so, and there wasn't a lot of that. And so I, I do definitely attribute my, like, I don't mean this to say, like, oh, I was I was on the forefront of the trend. The way I mean that is more like, I think I just sort of accidentally hit a spot where there was a lot of creators or a lot of people that wanted a certain type of video and not a lot of creators making that kind of video. I just sort of accidentally happened upon that, I think. Um, and I will say I did accidentally kind of utilize a furry audience that I did not. <laughs> I don't like I that's that's great. I like I have no problem with that. But I just think it's kind of funny because I didn't realize for the longest time when I was imagining Elia and when I pictured him, I was always, you know, imagining like Dragon Boy, mostly humanoid, but has like some patches of scales, some wings, some horns. I always tell everybody they're all free to uh, everybody's always free to draw or interpret my characters however they prefer. But uh, I kind of got to this this place where with with Elia, um, I was I had personally imagined him as as very humanoid, but not anything that uh, I I didn't imagine him as like mostly a draconic kind of character, and then I found out that a lot of the audience that that came for Elia, over time I realized were like people who were into like furry stuff who uh, were all, like, imagining him and drawing him as, like, a dragonoid. Dra dragonoid? I don't know if that's a word. I don't think it is. <laughs> as a draconic, like, more more of a draconic form than a humanoid form. Um, and, and uh, again, I have no problem with that. I love that. Uh, but I sort of... So I sort of en ended up accidentally fostering this, this um, uh, like, furry uh, sort of... of base of, of watchers with Elia that I fully did not intend to just a happy accident <laughs> first video sitting up at 1.6k compared to the other like 400 views yeah at, at, at first honestly like that's sort of how it happens I feel like is like y y you just have some videos that do well and some that just don't and sometimes it's just a matter of like algorithm and being new and everything being kind of volatile with a new account you know YouTube doesn't really know what to pick up and what to try and push and stuff from your account and everything yet, but it sounds like you're on a good start though. Like I'm, uh, I think that's great, and I'm excited to hear more about uh, how your how you how everything grows for you. So please, uh, by all means, feel free to uh, feel free to give me give me some updates when you get some exciting stuff. <laughs> Positive affirmation, make my listener feel like they're a great person. Seem to get mad views. Yeah, so it's it's so interesting though because there's some stuff that I just personally would never have any interest in listening to. Again, not bad, nothing bad about listening to it, making it anything like that. But just for me, like 
I have zero interest in in like reverse comfort. Like, because my idea of of coming to ASMR is, you know, coming to like be comforted or whatever. Um, or be on the receiving end of of like the effect like affection or friendliness or advice, whatever it may be. Um but there is I, I've had this sort of like explained to me by some people who do enjoy it where um reverse comfort audios like give them a nice feeling of like being able to help other people. And I, I so I can definitely see why people enjoy it. But for me, it's just like not something I ever would have imagined would have been popular. But there are whole channels that are just nothing but reverse comfort or primarily reverse comfort. And people like like mad enjoy those <laughs> that sort of content too. So it's really just it's you know there's really kind of an audience for for any style for the most part really. It just just depends. That's all. Is there really much of a difference between furries and monster fuckers? <laughs> You're kind of right, Wolf. <laughs> oh. Uh, maybe guilty of picturing them as an actual dragon. Oh, I mean, like I said, nothing wrong with that at all. I just, it just wasn't the image that I went in with. That was all. Chakra, thank you for the follow and welcome to the coven. Good to have you here with us. Thank you so much. Mwah. Hope you hope you cozy. Hope you get comfy. <laughs> Let's see. Where Salem wearing hipster glasses? I was making the comfy ASMR before it was cool. No, that's not what I mean. I definitely was not like the first one to do it. There just were not as many as I would have liked. You know, that was all. This, if you want to, if you if you if you want if you want to hug a monster boy, you gotta become the monster boy that gives the hug? I don't know. There's something in there. <laughs> become become the become the monster boy affection that you want to see in the world. <laughs> the beats you till you're unconscious ASMR. That was the crazy thing when TikTok started taking off. Do you guys remember like how all the crazy POV videos used to be super popular? Like that was like it was like that and like lip syncing and doing like those like funky like bouncy animations that people would do. Um... And then, so it was like that, and then like stuff that was like POV, I rob your house and throw you in the trunk, stuff like that. That was just like, and my brain was so used to POV being like specifically ASMR stuff. So all this like TikTok, like POV stuff really just like threw my brain for a loop. <laughs> I was not used to it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Ooh. All right. So I think we are going to start getting ready to head out. But I have a great comfy stream to send you guys off to. I know exactly where we're going. I know exactly. We get to go say hi to another another comfy streamer. <laughs> I have a female dragon character. I want to use, do ASMR using her. But it's like, but I can't do that kind of voice. Oh, uh, yeah. That's kind of the problem. It's like, like, I love, I love, like, look, I love a big beefy werewolf character just a just a just a big beefy boy <laughs> minotaurs orcs werewolves all that kind of stuff i love it i can't do those voices <laughs> i can't there's no chance i can with a little help from some like voice changers i could get a little bit close to like you know my my uh my um gruff werewolf boy but like, yeah, um, I'm <laughs> not, it's my flexibility, like, is not, not, not the highest. Like, that's like the crazy thing. Like, I hear people like, hollow, if you're still in chat, <laughs> this is, this was, this one's about you. Uh, but I see people like hollow and I see people like redacted who can do this crazy range of voices and accents. And it's so impressive to me. I would love to like get better at it. But it's just right now I'm not, I haven't haven't worked on developing that skill as much as maybe I would have liked. Um, but yeah, like I do have some like D and D characters I really want to do voices, like I want to do audios for. I have like a little script that I wrote with uh, um, uh, one of my characters the other day because we were gonna do a little storytelling thing with my D and D group. 
Uh, Metal Enjoyer, thank you for the follow. Welcome in and welcome to the coven. Thank you for hanging out with us. I hope you're cozy. Mwah! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, but, and he has a very fun accent. It's kind of like, it's kind of just a bad Russian accent, but it's very fun to do. Amy, thank you for the pasta check. Thank you for the stretch. I will uncrunch and stretch. Thank you very much. Mwah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so, um, cause he, let, let me see if I can get into his voice. It is, it is something like this. It is, it is a little bit higher. It is, there is something that separates it from a traditional Russian accent a bit. Is that there are certain sounds that I, I, I try to swallow a bit more. My tongue, uh, sort of comes to the back of my mouth more with certain sounds than I think it would in a proper Russian accent, but... Uh, he is, he is a uh, very, very, very sweet boy. He is a good character that I love with much of my heart. <laughs> uh, and, and so he's a very fun, uh, voice to do. I very, very much enjoy doing my, he is, he is my little death priest named Yonukovic Fyodorovsky. <laughs> I really enjoy doing his voice. It's very fun. And then I used to have a French boy. Uh, I kind of, his, whenever I try and do his accent nowadays, it kind of becomes Russian because I can only hold one accent in my head at a time. <laughs> but he, that was my, my, my vampire in a Vampire the Masquerade campaign. And, uh, uh, let me see if I can even do it. It'll probably start skewing Russian again real fast. But, uh, his name was, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get back into it. And I'm struggling. His, uh. Valentin Renard. He was a very, uh, very smooth talker. He did, had, uh, very much had a silver tongue that was, uh, he made very many friends. He made very many enemies with. He made many enemies of friends that he maybe should not have made enemies with, but he was, uh, very, very, very there, this starts going Russian again right away. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, uh, he, he was a very fun character to play. A little conniving, sneaky, slimy little, little Frenchman. Very, very fun. Really, <laughs> really enjoyed that. Topic of voice, have you been doing your singing lessons again? Yeah! So I, I accidentally showed up half an hour late because I got the times mixed up <laughs> for my last one. But we, uh, I have started again, so definitely in kind of a rough spot right now because of um, having COVID and then going to TwitchCon, I had to miss the lesson for that. And then I've gone on some other trips and stuff. And then, you know, just being gone for a year in Japan and everything. So definitely kind of, uh, um, starting, not fresh necessarily, but definitely having to rebuild some, some basics, but it's okay. I really like my singing teacher, so I don't, I don't mind at all. I could maybe do a gruffer voice for her and have it be passable. Venus is a whole lot of toxic gas. Kind of makes sense for it to be gruffer. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, since I've started watching it, <laughs> the pipeline, you went down the pipeline, Reaper. <laughs> yeah, I think the gruffest voice I can do, um, I, I, there was one that I figured out how to do when I was, uh, uh, visiting Tile a while back, and he hated it. He thought it was so cursed. <laughs> but it was... I, I don't even know if I could if I could do it. Pipeline water slide, same thing. <laughs> but because like here is sort of where I bring my, my voice to when I talk. Like this is sort of the the pitch, the resonance. This is where I like it to be. It sounds a little brighter. It's more exciting. I can kind of like I can I can manipulate my voice at this this place the best. I think. Um, but if I kind of try and back off of that, it kind of takes me a second to sort of get out of doing that but my natural voice is kind of a little more down here um it's a little more my natural the way i naturally talk doesn't have as much um variance i guess in my my tone and pitch it kind of tends to stay in a, a smaller box like right here um so like this is kind of what i sound like when i'm talking to just like family or, or something or, or you know if i've just woken up and i'm not really energized you know and not in my in my voice this is more of where it is and it feels kind of cursed to just talk like this on stream actually now 
<laughs> so I kind of, I, like I said, I like to bring it up here. It sounds a little more fun. I think it's more fun to listen to. Um, it's more fun to talk like this because it feels like it has more energy. Um, but if I was trying to like bring it down as far as I go, uh, as I could, I would say like, like, uh, I think right here and probably get it down to about here. I think I can take it a little lower, maybe a little gruffer, maybe kind of along this, add that vocal fry in, and I think this is probably, probably about as gruff as I can get and sound natural, you know. Um, and it doesn't sound entirely natural, but it's, it's about as, as far down and as gruff as I can get it without starting to sound like I'm putting a voice on or something, you know. Yeah, I think that's uh, <laughs> that feels so cursed. <laughs> Salem after a pack of smokes. Yeah, that's kind of what it sounds like. <laughs> that's my that's my corpse voice. <laughs> every that's, every every streamer's got to have a corpse voice, right? <laughs> oh yeah 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 yeah. But all right, I think I think we're gonna start. Uh, 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 getting ready to go say hello to a f good friend of ours. Why don't we get a little, get a little raid message set up. I can never remember what my follower emotes are. Let me, let me see. So for, uh, for those of you who would like to join in the raid, you do get some extra channel points that you can use if you do join in with us. Here's this time for my spiel. <laughs> if you, if you join in the raid with us, you do get some extra channel points that you can use for ASMR redeems. You can use them for tarot card redeems, uh, stuff like that. Uh, but if you're all tucked in and cozy and comfy and everything, please, by all means, feel free to get some rest. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and check on something with my emotes, and then we will get the raid started. We're gonna go see a little- we're gonna go- we're gonna go to a- we're gonna go visit a little fishy in their pond tonight. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to do a simple cozy raid. So here's going to be our raid message. So if you're a subscriber, you already have the Salem Sparkle emote. If you are not a subscriber and you would like to join in the raid and use our raid message, you can use 80 channel points to choose an emote to unlock. You can unlock the Salem Sparkle uh, emote and then you could join in with us. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have some, it's a party. It's a party. Uh, do, 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 do. Rest on traveling, buddy. You've been oh, trust me, my bank account is making sure I'm resting on the traveling. Don't you worry. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm teasing. But no, we're all good. But uh, yeah, for sure. I'm definitely. I'm ready to just sit for a little while. Which is so funny because, like, I also have, like, I, I want to go nowhere right now. But I also have been having like. Um, I know some people who are visiting Japan, and and uh, they've been sending me pictures and stuff, and and. Uh, sort of have been like, like I, I've been seeing like all of this like Japan stuff the past few weeks, and I'm like, wait, I kind of want to go back, <laughs> which is so funny because like I was, I was, I, uh, uh, you know, I'll admit I was kind of having a rough time during the second semester there, um, like just because you know it's a pretty, it's, it could be kind of an isolating place. It's definitely, um, I think Japan is f kind of a, a funny place. Because I think it's really good for introverts in, in some ways. In some ways, it's not. But um, it's it's really good for introverts in a lot of ways. But you sort of... It almost ends up being too good for introverts. Because I think a lot of people who are introverted will kind of naturally, like, you know, shy into, like, not really meeting people or going out or doing social things. And it kind of ends up you kind of end up accidentally isolating yourself a little bit. At least I did. Um, and so, uh, uh, 
like I said, I was I was kind of ready to come home by the time I was I was done with my second semester. I was like, you know, I've been here. I've seen a lot. It's been great. I'm ready to go home. But now that I've been home for like a couple months, I'm like, wait, wait but maybe it means it's like one more month. <laughs> it's just kind of uh, funny not being able to just be like, oh, yeah, I think I'm going to go to like Ikebukuro today and just do a little do do a little shopping or something, you know, or oh, uh, maybe I'll hop over to uh, Shibuya 109 and, and uh, get some new fancy outfits or something, you know, just little, little things like that. Like can't go to book off and just browse all the 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 fun, funky, fresh BL at a dollar at a dollar ninety nine, you know. <laughs> no, but I, I, I I'm looking forward to going back one day, but. Uh, yeah, it's definitely just sort of been hitting me like almost like sort of a reverse culture shock in a way. <laughs> Lyra, hello, it's good to see you. I think we're actually we are unfortunately just about starting to wrap up, but I got I got another I got another we got somebody good we're going to see. We got somebody comfy. Ooh, maybe doing music tonight? I'm not sure. I have the stream muted, but let's we'll go let's go say hello. But thank you all so much for spending some time with me tonight. I appreciate it. I had a very good time. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, checking out some new games with me. Um, like I said, one more time, here is that raid message for those of you who would like to join in. Uh, and... We are going to go say hello... To our buddy Piranha over here. We're gonna say hi. It's been a while since I just uh, saw them streaming uh, uh, yesterday. I think it was. Uh, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's been so long since I managed to, to for my my times or something, I guess, to uh, to sync up. And uh, so it was I got to say a little hello, and that was nice. So I'm, uh, I'm excited I get to send a little raid his way. So Piranha time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see you tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, wherever you are tonight, 9 p.m., be there. Be here, I guess. <laughs> I'll be here. You could be here if you want. Anyway, though, raid is all ready. I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for the fun night, and I hope you all have wonderful dreams, wonderful days, wonderful time zones. I will see you all later. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Goodbye. Mwah!